Hi guys, welcome to the Bonsai Movie Crew. I'm Eric. This is Karen, Joseph, Madison. <laughs> yeah, like you I figured I, I he was taking a drink. Okay, just yeah, I was living, excuse. letting the guy having his drink. All right, I was, I was taking a sip. Anyways, <laughs> remember to check out our TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, and of course our YouTube. Please like and comment, or and subscribe and share with your friends. We and also we also have an email if you would like to contact us that uh, that way, bonsai movie crew dot or at gmail dot com. We would love to hear from you. I love how he's he just totally reading. reading. I am, <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm completely exactly. So Tumblr now. I got. Oh yeah, I got oh, yeah we do have to add tumblr and you can check you can add some on... flair to you don't have to read it verbatim yeah. uh i'm gonna read it verbatim okay so do we I, i'm still throwing the spotify and stuff out there we're still on spotify and everything i, I guess <laughs> i mean we don't get a lot of downloads on spotify like apparently the youtube's a hot top hot thing but it's probably because, like I said, people are more visually stimulated than audio. Even though you, you can listen to, you, like you, you, stimulated. you can <laughs> listen to Spotify and stuff like that if you're allowed to at work, which I'm not allowed to anymore. But that's another subject. I can go the fuck I want yeah. at work because I'm a hooker. <laughs> he is. That's true. He works on the streets. A hooker that works with bricks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Okay. Yeah, you ain't got the money. Kick bricks. Oh. Is your 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 is is your um job line stone hard? Oh very <laughs> Yeah. That was well. great. Yeah. I'm gonna use that. Oh Madison, that was good. I love it. I <laughs> should see a three three percent increase in my customer intake. <laughs> <laughs> my intake, I mean well, you know what I mean. You should, you should have billboards and, and cards with that on it. Fuck yeah, dude. Need a blowjob? Here you go. Call me anytime. I do house calls. Because we we're make stone, you stone hard, hard here at whatever your job's called. Yeah, whatever your job's called. Whatever your well, job's I don't know called. if the name's stuck or not. It sticks. <laughs> it's somewhere or another. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Joseph, what uh, news and trailers do you have for us this week? Joseph's got some fucking news. Uh, I don't have any trailers this week. If you want to see them, you can look them up. I just didn't do it this week because I'm a fucking lazy ass. <laughs> it makes me sad. Uh, I do oh. have some news though. Uh, sorry, kind of yeah, like that segment. Um, it was, it was it's fun. fun. Yeah, it's fun. Um, so. The Mario Brothers movie is doing really well. I love that. Um, so the Super Mario Brothers movies uh, movie became or becomes highest grossing domestic movie of 2023 in just six days. Uh, right here says uh, the Super Mario Brothers movie phenomenon has continued beyond its Easter weekend opening, with the film continued to break records and take its place as the highest grossing domestic movie of the year after just six days on release. Uh, having taken 224 million by Monday, the Illumination Universal uh, movie has surpassed Ant Man and the Wasp Quantumania, who drew in uh, 212 million domestic total and is only 50 million away. Hold on, I had to open a new thing. <laughs> away from becoming the <laughs> highest grossing worldwide. Uh, as well as continuing the charge into the week, the Super Mario Brothers movie pulled in another 20.1 million. Uh, I think those are euros on Monday. Another record breaking for Illumination, whose previous Monday high was 19.6 million, set by Sing back in 2016. The Monday haul also gave the movie the second highest Monday ever. For Universal coming in, sorry, coming. I just got it stuck in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the only way. that's not the only place it gets stuck. Yeah, right. <laughs> it gets stuck a lot of places. Ugh. Wow. Uh, coming in just dad, short. Dad, of we're not even five minutes Wait, in. Wait, Dad. What? You st You get your stone stuck a lot. Sure. Yeah. We're not yeah. even five minutes in. Oh my god. <laughs> 
kidney it's always stones. about cum on this show. <laughs> Not even five minutes in. Right. Like, we're three minutes. Smurf get your, get your minds out of the gutters. You started it. <laughs> you anyway, did. coming in at just short of 2015, Jurassic World, for? and what an impressive third, <laughs> impressive Sorry. third uh, best Monday in April ever behind the massive Marvel movie movies Avengers Endgame and Avengers Infinity War. Uh, having been on release for less than a week, the Super Mario Brothers movie has another several weeks to run at the box office, and that means it is currently looking at the total bo- uh, a total box office that could make it hard to beat as highest grossing movie of the year. All of that be, uh, will be revealed in time, but there is currently no signs of the film uh, relinquishing the box office crown for some time to come. So there you have it. So, suck it, critics. <laughs> Who's saying, uh, hold on here. I think I've snapshotted. Snap. You Snap. mean screenshot? It, yeah. So, current, <laughs> last time I checked it, it was at 55% on Rotten Tomatoes for critic score. Yeah. The can anybody guess what the audience score is? Oh, you, it's, probably you, fucking, oh, it's like a hundred percent. Fucking ninety eight, ninety nine. It's ninety six percent. Oh man, that's fucking ridiculous. That's a huge difference between audience and critics. Oh, like, man. what does that say? And I read some of them. Fucking actually, you know what? I'm gonna read you some of these because it really irritates me. It does. He was reading me. through them. It's, I was reading through. I was like, ago. I was just irritated. I was like, this is the stupidest shit I've ever seen. And this, just some of the things that they were nitpicking through. I'm like, that is dumb. Like, what do you? It's like how people at It's work, the people who areas. didn't like play Mario and stuff. That's Fucking what that is. shit. Hold on. I liked Mario movies. Not here. We, have, like, we have this piece of wood we have sandpaper on that we use okay. to like, get in certain crevices. So, so they mark that up. So currently it's... What are you guys talking about? Currently the... Auditing. The Audits. scores are sitting at, for critics, it's at 57% and at 96% audience. So listen to some of the shit that these retards say. And by retards, I mean retards. Uh, it is the laziest possible version of Mar- a Mario movie, and for most viewers, young and old, that'll be totally acceptable. Duh, because it's a fucking kids movie. Um, the whole package is a deranged mishmash of or overstimulating, overstimulating elements. What does that mean? Over can you be overstimulated? Can you be overstimulated? I mean, if Karen? you took shrooms, maybe you might be overstimulated. So. Right, that's I, what I'm saying. Like, how can you be? Like, you can say the same they, thing about the new Avatar. That's movie. what I was gonna say. How can they eat that shit up? But this is overstimulating. Right, exactly. This is overstimulating. Like, oh, there's too many colors. That and, that, that and actually it's too vibrant. And that pretty. makes me think you should take shrooms before go seeing this movie. I agree. You probably should. Probably, I mean, <laughs> this is the second time in it two would weeks be we've talked about taking shrooms before we went. <laughs> we should just do you, it. You imagine, the, tell me something. You imagine the trip like on, on that? that stream. <laughs> uh, so, and then another one says, a frantic Easter egg hunt of a film that does the bare minimum to please its loyal existing fan base. I don't know about you, but I've been playing Mario since I was a child. Me too. Right. Since, it, like, since it came, the first Mario game came out in 81. I was born in 86. I think by that time, Mario 2 or 3 had come out. And I've been playing Mario for 37 years, and I am I was not disappointed with this movie. Being someone who's been playing it my entire life, I am not disappointed with that. I was not disappointed with that movie. That's the I always consensus. I always played Mario yeah. on my DS as a kid. That says, was like my what, go-to. Uh, another guy says what it what it seems to have forgotten is creating an engaging story. It's bland, uninteresting, and cobbled together. Okay, so check this out: an uninteresting story. The entire story of Mario is him going from castle to castle looking for the princess. And every time <laughs> and finally he gets to a castle, that. they're like, oh, she's in another fucking castle. Like, <laughs> there's no story, <laughs> dude. There's no story to this to the games. Like, yeah. So the story that they gave it, which I thought was fine because it wasn't overdone. It, it's meant for kids. It's geared towards children. was awesome because it put Peach front and center with Mario and made essentially made Luigi the damsel in distress, which was cool because it showed, uh, it kind of showed Peach taking Mario under her wing as like his mentor. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. I just think that it showed like not only that kind of companionship, but also how close Mario and Luigi are as brothers and what Mario will do and go through to save his brother and take care of his brother. It was a really good movie. 
So that's, that's all what I've it heard. To me. That's all I've heard. Yeah, that it's good. I've been want, I'm wanting to watch it. I will. I'll tell you guys the critics' consensus. It says, "Okay, I'll read you this, and then I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll tell you the audience <laughs> audience consensus." Uh, so, critics' consensus: While it's nowhere near as thrilling as Turtle tipping your way through way to 128 lives, the Mario Brothers movie is a colorful, uh, albeit thinly plotted, animated adventure that has. About as many Nintendos as Nintendon is. Nintendence. Nint- okay, funny. Nintendence. It's a uh, big word. Right? Yeah, but that's a dumb consensus. Yeah. So you don't want to th- you want to know what the uh, the audience said? Party Fucking har, epic. Har. You know what the audience said? They just said woohoo. That's <laughs> 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 all it says is woohoo. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> they gave it a five star then. Uh. Well, I mean, they I mean, gave it ninety six percent. So, and that's out of ten thousand plus. That's reviews. an A plus. Yeah, that's huge. I mean, I think that, and I had we went and watched it uh, last week, and I fucking my son Gavin literally walked out and said that might be the greatest movie I'll ever see. That's what he said. <laughs> he's loved no. Mario since he was a kid, though. So he's yeah. like, he was ecstatic. He was over the moon about it. Yeah, yeah. I, I haven't had a reaction to a, a movie like that since the Broly movie came out, and even then, it wasn't that. Yeah, I mean, Good. I was excited to go watch the movie, but dude, I was not disappointed. Exceeded thought, expectations it, for sure. It was yeah. it was a fucking blast. It was there was there was no dull moments. It didn't slow down. It was just from beginning to end fun, mm-hmm. and I, I thought it was great. So critics can suck my ass, and uh, they can suck Mario's ass too if they want. <laughs> um, I'm you just, got a really uh, they're gonna tap long your ass like a Alec keg. about how much he loved it. Yeah, and then that Monday. I got a really long text about you know John Leguizamo sucks because apparently he was bad mouthing. Yeah, the he movie. was all butthurt about it. I said, got, said like, it was racist or something. Yeah, I, I got know. this really long text about how much John Leguizamo sucks, and then like a really like at the very bottom, how's your Monday? <laughs> <laughs> how's your Monday? Hi, yeah, Alec. <laughs> I mean, if you guys haven't seen it yet, one hundred percent. Honestly, I think that whenever it comes out, we should review it. Whenever we, it comes out on digital, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm one hundred percent behind. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be us just sitting here thinking, like, it was amazing. You know what I mean? But, <laughs> Pretty much. But I, 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 I kind of want to review it whenever it comes out because it's just, it's a fun movie. Yeah. And I, I totally want to watch it again. Well, so. it's kind of sucks we know the tomato score now. Well, <laughs> well, yeah, 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 it's kind of ebb and flow. There's Because it's always. Don't change. you ruin this for me. Okay. You shush it. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, this is the part where you tell him to shut up and go suck something. I'm done. Go suck a wiener. <laughs> <laughs> all right anyway that's all the news i've got so all right so let's get into what have you been watching what the hell have you been watching we'll start with madison work our way around um, <laughs> madison always gets to start <laughs> you dropped your pen yeah it's a pencil oh it's all the way over there <laughs> um it's too far gone <laughs> we can't go back <laughs> we can't go oh my god that was uh, uh <laughs> I don't even see it. I wanted it. to say no. Don't stop. It fell into the abyss. What's that yell that you always... Uh... The Wilhelm scream. The, yeah, yeah. Wilhelm <laughs> scream. <laughs> <laughs> the oh. goat scream. That's what we need, like, for, you know, for when we talk about bumps, you bump. need the Wilhelm like, scream. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, Sorry. okay. <laughs> I, start, I was watching Alice in Borderland again, because I, I only watched, like, two episodes of that since last time. Uh, we did podcast and um, The Walking Dead, of course. I watched a couple episodes of that. But I've been watching My Hero Academia again. Mm-hmm. But I'm trying to take it slow, though, because it's the last season and I'm scared. So I'm pacing myself through it. Uh, she wanted- said the same thing about The Walking Dead. She was afraid of Glenn <laughs> dying. I was like, well, it happens. So you might as well just power through it. You know? Yeah. I did. I was we watching a couple happens. episodes every day until Glenn died. And then I realized I wasn't that sad that Glenn died. I was more sad that Abraham died, and then yeah, I, just, I was I more sped sad about Abraham. But then it was funny because like I was, them, but... I was after that, like after that whole episode, I was done. I was like over it. I didn't watch another episode. I did. It. I watched. I continued Neither watching it. But the, the thing about that show is, whenever they killed Abraham, I was like, no, I liked Abraham, and I was like, but I was like, but at least they didn't kill Glenn. And then they killed <laughs> Glenn. I was like, ah! <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was confused whenever they killed Abraham because um. I was like, okay, Glenn's supposed to die. Glenn's supposed to die. I already know who's going to die. Glenn's going to die. I, it's already been spoiled for me. So the episode started, I was like... <sighs> and then Abraham died, and I was like... 
And then Glenn hits you. What? <laughs> yeah, and then and then, then Daryl the got thing, up and like, punched yeah. Negan, and then Negan turned around and hit Glenn. I was like, oh, oh. That's the thing. It's like you you hated it because you're like, fuck, he killed Abraham, but. But in that, but if you knew the comics, you're like that was where Glenn was supposed to die. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if you know the comics, like Carol was supposed to die in like the first season, yeah. but lived through the whole. I kind of liked Daryl didn't even though. exist, yeah, but I, was, yeah, was cool. yeah. So, but anyway, yeah. Sorry. Okay, and we digress. <laughs> um, friends, my sister told me, and it was the American thing to do to at least watch the first season. So I'm trying. Pivot. I think I'm on episode eight. God Maybe. Speed. I tried. I'm trying. I'm trying. I tried. I'm trying. I tried to. I'm what? Try- Friends. Friends. Yeah, I couldn't do I'm it. I'm not interested. I tried. I made it through three episodes and I was like, yeah, I'm done. I can't do it. I, I think can't. I tried to watch Friends before and that's how far I made it. Yeah. Because I I, I've seen the first couple of episodes and then I have no clue where I'm at. I like, it's God's funny because like, I, I see like, imagine <laughs> like having a show about a group of friends who live in new york city and so, in some of the nicest apartments i've ever seen right in new york city. yeah their their whole story for that is that they were all rent controlled from like previous like relatives and stuff yeah so they all got lucky huh? yeah like they're okay. all living in new york like downtown new york in like these nice hot and these nice, nice apartments apartments and like you know but like rachel just moves in doesn't have a job or nothing but mm-hmm. hey there she is able to afford it yep you know it's just it's just a weird struggling actor yeah, and all like yeah. rachel, struggling actor rachel and isn't paying rent she moved in with monica i think that was her name whatever it was but well that was you you're wait like, do, is monica the same actor as gail from scream yes. okay yes. I, I thought so i wasn't her, sure yeah, though that's where yeah. she got her start was, is courtney cox yeah yeah, I thought so, yeah. but I was watching it. Well, kind of. To... She did a few minor things before yeah. and stuff. But, she was yeah. in, um, she was in, uh, fucking, uh, Masters of the Universe. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Most I've seen on that show was pretty much just, like, their, the short, the funny shorts. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, that's where it's funny, is, like, if, you know, you see little clips of it. Yeah. It's funny, but, like, to try and sit down and watch entire episodes, I don't recommend. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, just, I just don't. Like, the I'm pivot a, one kind of kills me. I love, yeah. I love watching Seinfeld. Yeah, Seinfeld's funny. Like, that shit's yeah. funny, but, like, yeah. to watch, like, a that whole episode of Friends Nazi. and their stupid, petty-ass problems. Like, Seinfeld has more of a a comical arc because, in the end, nothing ever turns out well for them. No. Because they're just terrible people. Yep. They're not good people. Yep. Kind of like It's Always Sunny only. And It's no, Always Sunny, they're great. far worse. But they, they're but psychos, they're, yeah. I think it, the difference is in Seinfeld, they're oblivious to the fact. Yeah, they're oblivious to the fact that they're terrible yeah, people. Yeah, like they, they really believe that they're like adults. And Even though in yeah, some of the episodes, they're, they're, they're like, really you guys are psychopaths. And, and, they try yeah. to, and they try to constitute it with, constitute themselves, like their actions with like, well, you know, like, mm-hmm. so it's just, that's what it's Dennis ridiculous. would do. Well, like none of them are good. <laughs> like, yeah. None of them. And I mean, and you know, the Charlie, sunny well, people, well, they, they might well, know that they're terrible. Yeah. People. They're terrible, but they know they are. They know they are. Yeah. Soon Except not, for maybe Dennis. Nazi. Yeah. I think Dennis knows he just doesn't care. Cause he, Oh, maybe, that's he definitely just, what yeah, that he is. He just does not care. Well, Cause he doesn't care. He do you care think, do you think D knows she's a terrible person? Oh, for sure. Oh yeah. Yeah. He definitely knows. Frank doesn't. Maybe. No, uh, Frank, 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 Frank does not either. care he either because he is just uh, he's at that point in his life where he doesn't care yeah, I he, feel like he Frank, gets dumber his, like, his whole, remember his whole, his whole like, yeah, yeah his whole thing when he first came on there was he was he was like a, yeah. a a businessman with all this money and he's like I've only got a few years left I'm gonna get real weird with it yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's said, exactly yeah, what that's he said and that's what he did so that's what that's what his shtick is he knows exactly what he's doing Charlie is just dumb yeah charlie's just dumb but god damn it he's probably the he's only the, one that has even a sliver of a heart he's yeah, my favorite he's character oh yeah the only one that has any kind of morals yeah and yeah. he's also the best character what about Agreed. mac charlie is totally no mac totally character. thinks he's a good guy mac thinks mac he's thinks good he's yes bad. he does he mac does. also thinks he's a badass yes yeah mac is delusional yeah but he's I'm waiting for favorite. I'm waiting for Mac to get <laughs> buff <Matt>. again. <laughs> Did you see where he like gains mass and all that? Yeah, yeah that's yeah, where that's we're at right now. I love the I love the um the uh when they go to the high school reunion and they have you seen that that episode uh maybe they go to the high school reunion and they think they're um up there dancing and they're doing a good job i don't think i've gotten to that one yet. <sighs> oh man no okay well, i won't season, ruin it for you i think he loses all that weight in next season yeah he does yeah. so but yeah, I know. Where last episode I watched was he was um because there's a there's they a, were a, there's a booth. yeah there's a part oh, yeah. yeah there's a part in um where he's like in therapy or whatever and he's skinny again and 
he's like i gained this much weight and lost it in this much time and she's like that's pretty much impossible and he's like well first of all with god all things are possible <laughs> <laughs> she's like and he blames everybody but himself else. yeah oh, it's everybody else's fault well everybody they all do they fault. all do and every, oh, it's do, nobody yeah. else's fault it's everybody that's else's the whole fault. point of that concession stand or nothing <laughs> <laughs> they saw hot dogs in there <laughs> Popcorn. <laughs> oh man yeah oh. i meant confession stand oh yeah their concession stand that they were talking about doing <laughs> no i meant the confession I stand. Yeah, probably confession rewatch stand. that show man it's pretty great i'm still i'm still powering through it but we are not allowed to watch it around we're not allowed boys. to watch it in front of jackson so jackson yeah because he's seven you know so and it was getting pretty bad like i think crystal drew the line whenever they went to uh the Some, beach. oh yeah, and they were under the boardwalk, and there was a bum exactly. banging another bum in the in, well, in the bum, and they were butt ass naked. Yeah. And she's like, "Okay, this is that's enough." I was like, "Yeah, I that's where I had is. to stop." I, was like, I guess yeah, it it's is getting, it's getting a little extreme. <laughs> I guess you have a point. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. So Whatever. she she drew the line at at a uh, homeless butt sex, so. <laughs> as one does. <laughs> yeah, you know. I get it. You know? <laughs> I was uh, surprised she let it go on as long as she I did too. Me. I was surprised. Like, there were some parts I had to look back at her and she was like, Really? <laughs> it's a show. It's a show. It'll be all right. Yeah, like I and knew. In your it was head, I'm going to keep going as long as you let me. As long me. as you let me. And she drew the line at the, 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 the <laughs> homeless butt sex. So I was like, that's Yeah, great. a little extreme. <laughs> okay. And it's there. funny because that's the worst thing I've seen since then like it hasn't really been so terrible since then no it's kind of off and on like like that one threw me that one was just random as fuck i was like oh i can't believe they even aired this on tv like (laughs) i think once they got that um danny devito money they got you know what i mean (laughs) oh anyway yeah so anyway keep going oh no that was it oh Oh, okay okay. joseph uh well obviously we went and watched the mario brothers movie and we oh, fucking yeah, that loved too. it, and I would highly recommend you check it out. I didn't get 96% that at all. 96% of the audience says so, too. <laughs> I played it, too. I didn't get that at all. <laughs> 50% of the critics said so, but the other yeah. 50 can suck it. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, started watching that new show on Netflix called Beef. It's got Steven Yen in it. I am interested. How yeah. is it? It's really good so far. I think we're like... Three or four episodes in episodes, episodes, Repersodes. and it's it's pretty wild. Like it almost reminds me of um, like a very very tamed down, uh, shameless kind of maybe sort of okay. in a way, I guess with the writing, but it's not as gritty or anything crazy like that. What I gathered from what I saw and what I got from the synopsis is that it's just a couple of people who like one day snap like and pretty much yeah. yeah so like what it is is like steven yen's character is a struggling uh construction contractor yeah I yeah, and good. um he's trying to essentially come up with the money to buy this property and build a home for his parents who want to move back from korea and so he's got this property in line that he wants to buy it's like you can see like the ocean and stuff and um it honestly i i thought the prep property looked pretty awesome too but Anyway, uh, so he's trying to do that, and he's, like, he's also on the verge of almost, like, there's a point where he's, like, ready to kill himself. Oh. And he's, like, he goes through, like, so I'll tell you what happens in the first episode. The first episode, he goes in, he's trying to return these, like, uh, charcoal grills, a bunch. He had, like, six of them or something that he was trying to return, and they wouldn't let him return it because he couldn't find his receipt. So he's very frustrated, and the reason why he had them is because he was trying to light them all in his room and kill himself. To like uh, essentially for the carbon monoxide poisoning, yeah. and uh, he's leaving the place, and uh, he goes back out of the space, and um, yeah, I see the lady that on the trailer, yeah, she yeah. Uh, he almost backs into her. She like lays on the horn, pulls forward, flips him off, and he goes on this like rampage and like chase, chases her through town and gets her fucking plate number, and essentially that's where the fucking beef begins. And like by the end of the first episode, he gets in there and like tells her like hey i want to check out your you know this and that or whatever some stuff going on in your house and he realizes who she is uh because he thought it was a man like her husband but she he goes in and pisses on her bathroom floor all over her bathroom floor <laughs> and uh it's pretty funny she's like 
She's like, this is something. Oh, motherfucker. You know what I mean? Like, she's got a gun, and she's like, it's fucking wild. Her, her character is really wild, too. She's also trying, like, she's rich and got up all this money, but she's trying to sell her business and um, so she can be at home more. Like, her husband is a stay-at-home dad, and she wants to be home more, so she's trying to sell off her business so she can stay home with her kid and her husband. And um, she's going through a lot of stress with trying to get it sold and blah, blah, blah. And it's just kind of like these two people who essentially are each other's outlet. So they f- do fucked up shit to each other to make themselves feel better. Got it. So he does that and he feels better. And then by the second episode, she does something bad to him and she feels better. And it's just so this feud just keeps going. And I think eventually it'll come to a point where it, they'll probably be friends or something mm, like yeah, that. Yeah, know? it's gonna. It's, That's usually how it it's goes. got that formula. But like everything that happens between there, like he's got a brother who's a lazy ass and wants to just sit around and play video games, and he's got all this crypto and everything that he does. And but like he's like, dude, you just gotta chill and like, like his philosophy on life is very true. Like, dude, just chill and enjoy life. You know what I mean? And he's like, but like his brother's like a workaholic. He's like, but I gotta work. I gotta get mom and dad over here. And he's like, blah blah blah. You know. So it's just it's a really good show, and I think it's a uh, um, definitely worth check if you haven't checked it out. It's a mostly Asian cast, uh, which is pretty awesome. Um, it's also written and directed by um, um, an Asian fellow who, I guess, relates with Stephen Yen because I guess they both grew up in a very Christian Korean home or something like that. Mm-hmm. So, um, but it's really cool, and I love Stephen Yen and the act. The lady who's in the show, I can't remember her name. Um, she's a stand-up comedian and she's fucking hilarious, dude. She's a good stand-up comedian, I know and she does great. About. She does great in the show. She's really, really like her, 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 and Stephen Yen are like the two best things in the show, obviously, because they're just they're great to watch. So I would recommend it. I think it's great so far, and I'll continue watching it. So I think it's fun. That I like the opening sequence. Whatever says beef, and it's just a bunch of beef. <laughs> that's great <laughs> that's it though okay Karen what you been watching I Karen. watched Dracula Dead and Loving It <laughs> oh wow cause we finished you um, got bored didn't you no we finished um, they went dark what was it uh, <laughs> the other Leslie Nielsen stuff so we figured we should probably watch another Leslie yeah, Nielsen movie all the Naked Gun movies yeah all the yeah. Naked Gun movies uh, we watched Robin Hood Men in Tights <laughs> oh <laughs> my god I love that movie <laughs> yeah we finished the IT crowd. Um, I watched Extraction. Did loved you like it. that? I loved it. It was good. It was very good. Uh, Murder Mystery 2. Shut up. <laughs> very oh. good. I mean, it was, it was as good as the first. It's funny. I heard. I've been I've been hearing that it's like one of the worst release. Like the really? Movie. I thought it was funny. I did. It might be, but they're like... I've been watching these are like top okay, 20. Well, okay, it wasn't as good as the first one, but it was still funny. And I haven't it had, seen it had, I have nothing to say. It had good, it had moments that were just as funny to me as the first one were. But maybe the overall movie wasn't as good. I haven't seen either of them, so I have no room to talk. On yeah, I would recommend watching both of them. Yeah, They're both I mean, worth the first a watch. One, I thought the first maybe, one I don't know, man. Good. Adam Sandler's comedy anymore is kind of like, just. Yeah, but Jennifer Aniston's in it, and then like. I know I Mark know, Strong the, is in the second. Yeah, one, and some. So. Of, yeah, I I think they're both worth a watch. They're. I mean, they're good. I'll probably I, sit down one day and get bored and watch them. Yeah, I mean, I I liked them. Uh, I watched This Is Forty because I'd never seen it before, and eh, I wanted it's to see. Okay. It's a meh. It was not at all what I thought it was going to yeah, be, and I okay. I agree, yeah. meh. It it was kind of like it was from the same people that did Knocked Up because it's a yeah. Knock Up Knock yeah. Up spinoff. Yeah. And it, it, you're definitely getting that very same kind of uh, comedy where it's I like, like Knocked Up better. Right, I agree. And This Is 40 was kind of cool, but it was like a coming of age, like getting into your 40s. And I mean, Paul Rudd was great in it, and so was yeah. uh, the lady. But yeah, I just, it was one of those movies I was like, eh, it's probably something I'll never watch again. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Uh, I watched Ghost World. Um, everybody kept telling me I needed to watch that. I didn't care for it. What is it? Ghost World. Thor Birch, uh, uh, Scarlett Johansson, Steve Buscemi. I don't think I've ever heard of it. Heard of this? Yeah, I, re- I a bunch of people kept telling me to watch it. Basically, Thor Birch's character is a terrible person who ruins two people's lives and then just disappears. Kind of sounds like her Hollywood career. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, just I I we're talking about the girl from like 
Tora Birch is the girl from uh, American Pie and or not American Pie. Um, she was. Yeah, she was American, uh, Hocus, American Hocus Pocus Hocus and Hocus American Pocus, Beauty. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Same Who'd yeah. she? I as did Mary. Who'd she play as? Tora Birch. She was the little girl in Hocus Pocus. Oh, Danny. Danny. She was, she was yeah. Danny. Yeah. 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 She... I didn't care for it. I mean. Yeah, I didn't care for it. Uh, I watched the, uh, or I started the Murdoff Murders. Murdoff, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Murdoff Murder. It's a Netflix. Oh, the Murdoff Murder. Uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. About that family or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, Murdoch. Murdoch. That's yeah, how they Murdoch. say it. Yeah, about the rich guy. And yeah. Like, you know. yeah. We, I think we started first episode. And I was like, I just want to get into it. Um, I'm kind of interested because I remember the uh, news story when it happened. And the kind of scandal that was happening right. during the whole thing. So I'm kind of interested to see how they... I wanted to... Did they ever figure out with uh, Madeline McCann with if that was the girl? or I don't remember. That's they never, part of the I reason. never heard anything more about That's that. That's part of the reason I want to watch it. Because I remember the whole scandal and stuff. But I don't remember how the, how it resolved. Did you Did you finish The Staircase? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all over You're the place. On I know. Finishing. <laughs> I'm all over the place. But I know how The Staircase resolves. You know what That's I mean? True. So it's yeah. kind of like... I don't know. I need to finish it though. You're right. Um, I watch. We watched the Winged Serpent, which was the Joe Bob movie this week. That was a ride. And then Community, because Jack has never seen it, and he wanted to watch a show with me. So that's I've what only we seen on. like one episode of that show. Really? Yeah, everyone's like, "You need to watch me." And I'm like, "Yeah, it's good." Oh, it is I good. Bet, it is I'm good. Kinda, I'm still like, I've got several shows. I'm trying to work my way through. The gnome. The gnome. No, the cat. Um, well, that's the home. I'm talking about when they, the gnome episode where Troy gets haunted by that little gnome. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, is someone throwing? <laughs> oh, my sister also made me watch a Barbie movie. I'm so sorry. Uh, the uh, the one that we watched all the time whenever we were kids. It I didn't feel the same. Was it so. just as amazing as it was? When no, we were kids? no, it was boring, it and does. I was ready for it to be over. <laughs> that's like me. I love the Ninja Turtles. I go back and watch their shit, but it's not the same as it was when I was a kid. That's like the movie Toys. With Robin Williams, it was very nostalgic. Oh, that's still for just me as good. Little, and so the turtles. Shut up. It just did not. I like the turtles. The same. The Howard cartoon. the Duck. I like all that the stuff. Still just the same. Hey, put that in the box. The I like Howard the, the Duck. Howard the Duck. <laughs> the same as I did. In the <laughs> and um, Garbage Pail Kids. <laughs> yeah, might as well. That's a deep cut, man. <laughs> well, you can at least put Howard My the Duck. My tummy in. hurts. <laughs> <laughs> what did you eat? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. They're weird. Though. So oh, it's such a good movie though. You done? Yep, I'm done. All right, so I watched Home Team. <laughs> you ever seen that? It's uh, got oh, fuck Christ. Drawing a blank of his it's name. Got some people in it, huh? It's got some people. It's in got it. some people in it. Um, mm-hmm. crap, I can't think of his name. Who else is in it? Just that guy. What's the main that guy? one guy with that with the hair. He plays Paul Blart. Uh, Oh. oh, Kevin. Uh, Kevin, yeah. Um, shit. I'm drawing a blank now, too. Yeah, see, see I'm... Uh, yeah, I always watch... <laughs> uh, Kevin movies. something. No. He is in the King of Queens. Yeah. Kevin. Oh, you're talking about that football show. Yeah. The, the movie the or the whatever football was movie. on Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. I watched that. That was, that was pretty good. I think it's the second time I've watched it, though. Is it Kevin James? Yes. Kevin James. Kevin James. Yes. There you got go. two first names. Look at you. Yeah. 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 It, was it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. Pretty, had some good funny moments and you know some penis jokes i don't remember any penis jokes no, no penis jokes no. penis jokes are funny yeah and fart jokes fart jokes are always fun <laughs> then i watched uh <laughs> fantastic beast dumbledore secrets the newer one what was the secret that Jo Je- johnny depp wasn't in it he had a red oh room. man did he have a red room yeah johnny depp wasn't in it was it 50 shades of dumbledore I mean, <laughs> that'd be a good fucking movie, dude. Fifty Shades of Dumbledore. You want to see my wand? <laughs> Stop. It does tricks. It does tricks. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it was an. I need to sign this contract. Yeah. It was a good. Do you want to love Yosa? For those of you playing the home game, how many dick jokes is that in thirty-four minutes? <laughs> <laughs> you got a drink every time we say a dick joke. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> You but I thought it was a good movie. Thing. I mean, if you like, if you watch the Fantastic Beast movies, it's it's good. 
Yeah. You had Harry Potter stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm just, like I said, I'm, I'm burnt out right now. I went and saw the Dumbledore movie <laughs> so whenever it was in theaters. But, so. I've seen, the, I've seen yeah. the first Fantastic Beast movie, but the second one came out, I was like, eh, I'm not really interested. Yeah, I was, like I was. The first one didn't really captivate me, so I was like, eh. I was upset that Johnny Depp wasn't in the third one because of the Amber Heard trials, but. Turd. Yeah. Yeah, turd, turd girl. Yeah. Uh, I watched uh, Terminator Genesis. I'm sorry, that's like the why? Yeah, that's the worst. Why one. would you watch that one? <laughs> that was probably the worst one. It was just so, I was just Over the weekend bored. I guess it was the only one that like pre- piqued my interest at the time. We watched uh, Pixels. Well, uh, Carson wanted to rent that. The one it. with uh, Pac Man. Yeah. Yeah, I watched that whenever it first came out. I only remember Pac Man City. I haven't seen that movie. Yeah, I watched. Did you watch King of watched, yeah. Queens too? No. Then I watched uh, Shazam, the first Shazam. I like that movie. That new one's out. Yeah, we were Disney. we were going to rent it, but it was like twenty dollars just to rent. I was like, no, we're not, we're not, dude. we're not spend spend. You come to me, I'll get, I'll hook you up. <laughs> He'll rent it for you. Yeah, I'll rent yeah, it for yeah, you. yeah, yeah, yeah. So sure. uh, I've got a lifetime pass. <laughs> the Last Stand with uh, Johnny Knoxville and Arnold. Arnold who? Walking Tall. Anger. Oh no, The Last Stand. Oh yeah, yeah. Wait, Johnny Knoxville was in that? Yeah. Was he? Yeah, Johnny Knoxville and Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm drawing a complete blank on this. Was he in that? Yeah. Where I don't the guy remember come, him in that? Yeah, the guy drives from. Uh, yeah, Las I know Vegas. what you're talking about. Yeah, he yeah, escaped Johnny, prison. Johnny's the one that had the the uh, shed, or not the shed, but the the uh, damn it barn full of oh yeah he had all the weapons and guns shit. And yeah shit. he was yeah. a little he was a nutcase yeah dude it's been so long since i've seen that movie yeah and I don't he, know he this got movie deputized you've never seen it oh, i don't know it's a good little it's a good it's a little bringing yeah. nothing for me yeah. honestly like, there's it's one of those movies that yeah, yeah it's it's actually a good movie how do i not know this movie peter stormare like yeah. what the hell yeah. it's actually a pretty it's good, a good movie. yeah all right, I'm going to add it to my list. Yeah. <laughs> Adding this shit. That's funny. This guy's some, some good funny points. It's got some good parts in it. No, well, I added it. No worries. Uh, the Northman. Watch The Northman. Have you ever seen it before? No. The movie's a baller, dude. The I first, the, the, yeah, The Northman. Eh. Yeah. You didn't like it, it? No. Okay, I liked it after like the first half hour. The first half hour. If you get past the first half hour, it's like, okay, it's starting to pick up. But that first half hour is kind of just... Just psychedelic bullshit. And I, I loved it. I, I thought I thought it was great. It. Everybody's like, walking like in this, thinking it was just gonna be some fucking crazy bullshit with this like. This is like the second movie you know. I've watched with Alexander Skarsgård in it, and I'm just like, is all he in is just psychedelic movies? <laughs> like no, that's what was killing no, me. I was like, was Jesus. A, there was a cop movie that he was in with. Um, oh, what's his name? He was in Crash. He was in True Blood. Yeah. Yeah. Never seen that. Um, it was a really good cop movie. They were both dirty cops, but they kind of both um, fell into this um, like drugs thing that was going on, and this little girl was wrapped up in it. And they took this little girl and protected her, and in doing so, they endangered themselves and stuff. And so they ended up all having to go to like Switzerland. To hide out after it was all said and done, I can't I can't remember what it was called. But it was a really good movie. It was like a buddy cop movie, but it was like, you know, action and all that stuff. It was really good. But yeah, this is like I said, this is the second movie I've seen him in. It's like I've seen both. I love psychedelic that stuff. Guard. That's why I was so disappointed with Infinity Pool. I was like, yeah, Man. I know. Like I love I love Alexander Skarsgård. I watch I watch him in all kinds of shit. But yeah, it was the first time me and Kendra watched it together, and she was kind of thrown off by. The psychedelic stuff, just like I was at the first half hour of right. the movie, and I was like, "Man, I don't know if I can make it through." And then it started picking up. I was like, "All right, it's going to start getting a little bit better." Michael Pena. And then uh, I know what we watched about. Dungeons and Dragons. The, the new, new one? one. Yeah. You guys go to the theater? Yeah, we went to the theater and watched that? it. I thought it was pretty good. I heard it was pretty good. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I want to see it. It's yeah. one of the ones that I wanted to go to the theater to see, but just didn't. Yeah, I mean, I enjoyed it. We took uh, Carson there for his birthday. So I heard it's really good. I heard it's got a lot of good uh, action and it does it's funny and yeah shit like that. So I, I want to check it out. War on everyone. That, That's what it was. Called. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking. I've, I've heard of that. It's I've really, seen trailers for it. It's a really good movie. Yeah. Um, but I've seen. Uh, but I used to play D and D. So yeah, I'm the like. 
I'm that guy that'd be in there like, yeah, that's what our friends would do. You can't, <laughs> you know, like, you can't use that spell. <laughs> yeah, like, hold on now. He's you didn't roll that dice. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it was a great movie. I enjoyed it. It was definitely worth going to the movie theater and spending money for it. Um, that's all. So is the want. Mario movie. Yeah, I've been Sorry. wanting to. I wanted to watch it. We were going to do that, but we ended up going to Dungeons and Dragons instead. Right. We took Jackson to see Mario, and he doesn't normally sit still for an entire movie. Yeah. Dude, he's just he was glued to the screen like he wouldn't. He's just got popcorn. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like he was a zombie, dude. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Crystal kept nudging me, like, look at him. Oh my god, yeah, he's into it. Like, yeah. Now let the, me the, get into it, woman. To take Theo. If it kept Theo sitting down, yeah, no Penny. Well, no, no Pen- Penny. Penny could sit there and watch anything. Yeah, and just Penny's kind of Penny will kind of stay glued to something. But Theo, if you get Theo to sit and watch yeah. something like that, that'd yeah, be a if test. If I can keep his attention on one thing, that'd be amazing. Does he have ADHD? We're going to get him tested. We're in the middle of the process of that right now. My brothers definitely have ADHD. They've never been tested for it, but they have. They have. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! I'll bring Theodore here one day, and you guys will see. That boy is like a windstorm. I love oh, him. <laughs> no, I mean when he talks to you, it's like he'll be talking, 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 and then switch the subject. I mean, just squirrel. Yeah. Is he the one of your sons that you said can hold you? Is so young, but can hold you in a conversation? That's Carson. That's, That's Carson. Carson. Okay. Yeah. No, Theodore Carson. Carson's my thirteen-year-old, and then Theodore, he's my six-year-old. Gotcha, okay. So. But, uh, yeah, that's all I watched. So, let's... Oh, shit. Talk about the movie. Let's talk about the movie. This week's movie, we watched Sin City. I was lost my place in there. So. <laughs> I lose my place all the time. Yeah. Uh, Eric's blind and he forgot his glasses this yeah, week. Yeah, I did. Help. It's not. So, the it was released April 1st, 2005, directed by Frank Miller and Robert Rodriguez. Screenplay Ooh. by the same people. Story by Frank Miller. So, in this quartet of neo-noir tales, a mysterious salesman, Josh Harnett. Harnett. Sorry. Hartnett. Yeah, Hartnett. Narrates a tragic story of codependency while a muscle bound vigilante, Mickey York, a, tears his way through the criminal jo- underworld in search of his lost love, Jamie King. In other, another part of the city, Grizzle cl- Cop, Bruce Willis foils the ambitions of a child killer, Nick Stahl, and an ex prostitute, Mr- Brittany Murphy. He evades her ex pimp, Benicio del Toro. With the help of her new boyfriend, Dwight, Clive Owen. Uh, <laughs> I need to do all Starring. That starring Mickey Rourke, Bruce Willis, Jessica Alba, Rosario Dawson, Dawson, Clive Owen, Alexis Bledel, Benicio Del Toro, Elijah Wood, Jamie King, Josh Hart- Hartnett, Carla Quigino. I can't pronounce her last name. Who is it? Lucille. Oh, Carla. Lucille. Yeah. Roll. Nick Stahl, huh? Powers Roll Booth, officer. Brittany Murphy, yeah. Devon Aoki, Michael Madison, Nick Offerman. Just had to get to Nick Offerman. I had to get to Nick Offerman. Yeah, you you to gotta Nick. add Nick Offerman. Even if he has a small part in this movie. Dude's a fucking I just can't believe that was Nick Offerman. Yeah. yeah. So... Let's talk about the movie. Yes, would you, would you watch again? Like? Okay, would you watch again? Sorry, I always miss that part. I always. We all do. Every well, yeah, fucking time. It's even, I mean, um, Shut up! I'm just trying to help. You can't read. I can't see it. I'm trying to help and he's yelling at me. Yeah, you boys are jerks. Time. Watch your face. I'll stop helping. All right, Madison, would you watch again? Not on my own, I wouldn't. No? <laughs> no. I don't like black and white movies. They make me fall asleep. Was so much more than Fair black enough. and white, though. But Fair enough. Can't do it. Uh, I would. I would watch it. I've seen this movie a bunch, a hundred, like a bunch of times. So, 
I'd probably watch it again. Not for a long time. Watching it this time reminded me. Well, it didn't remind me, but it hasn't aged very well, in my opinion. So yeah, it, it'd have to be a while before I'd watch it again. Okay. Just better than the second one, though. I don't think There's I ever a watched second the second one. one. I didn't watch the second one. Yeah, it's the second one. Yeah, it's called the too. Yeah, yeah I watched it again. Um, I haven't seen this in a really, really long time, and um, so watching it this time was almost like watching it for not the first time, but like it's been a really long time. So there was yeah. a lot of stuff that I didn't. Yeah, it's been a long time for me too. Yeah, so um, it's kind of one of those things where it's like it was time to watch it again, I guess. So yeah, and I mean, I'd recommend it to other people too. So yeah, I forgot to ask, would you recommend? Yeah, I'd, remember, I'd totally recommend it. Yeah, Madison, would you recommend it? Everybody I know knows about the movie. Yeah, if somebody yeah. said I'd never seen Sin City, like, oh, you should totally check it out for sure. Yeah. It's in the it's the American thing to do. Well, <laughs> all of a sudden she's so. It's patient. definitely a movie that <laughs> you, you, can't get you away at least got to watch it once, at yeah. least. Um, for me, would I watch again? Not unless I had to. <laughs> Sorry, I mean I wouldn't watch again unless two weeks I was in made. a row you suck. <laughs> Shush! You made me watch movies I don't like. Have you seen it before? That's the whole point. Have I seen? Yeah, I've seen it before. Oh. I seen it when it first came out, oh. and that was like the only other time I've seen it. Yeah, this is definitely one of those movies that you can't get away with making today. No, no, like mm. it's just too. For one, it's. It touches on a lot of bases that people get too offended by now. Like, oh, yeah. The swastikas everywhere that are just essentially put in there as like style. Yeah. And then, like, uh, the nudity for the nonsensical nudity. Yeah. Like, they, they don't do that. They wouldn't do that now. Um, just the way that society. Well, there, there's a lot of things in here that I'm just like, they could, they, there's no way they'd get away with it now. Like, nonsensical yeah. nudity. Well, like uh, the the parole officer just being naked for no yeah. reason. Yeah, you know? yeah, I guess that was like that's yeah. just kind of nonsensical. Like, I don't know. I mean, she's in her own house. Like, I understand I mean, that. If you're but, like, it's around... nonsensical for from a movie standpoint. Yeah, like, yeah I guess. it serves no purpose other than to see her. Yeah, tits, but, uh, you know I get I mean? it. Which yeah, I wasn't complaining. No, but, you know, yeah, no, like... I get, I get it, I get it. Because all I could think of off the top of my head, I was like, well, the hookers and the, like what. Well, the funny part about that is that she's a woman that, like, I remember her back in, like, like <laughs> son in law. Son in law. <laughs> That's exactly I mean? where like, I shit would like be. that. I'm yeah. like, so, and then she does, like, it's funny because I, I said this to my brother earlier. I was like, he, like, Robert Rodriguez has to have a silver tongue because he got her <laughs> naked. He got the, uh, what's her name? Jamie King. Jamie her King. Naked. He got, he even got fucking, uh, what's her face? Uh, um, God damn it. Uh, Fucking Desperado. Um, Selma Hayek got her topless. Yeah. Like, this dude has a silver tongue to be able to get these girls undressed. Couldn't get Jessica like, Alba to do it, though. No, no. I don't think anybody could get Jessica Alba to get naked because... Oh, no. Jamie King was my heartthrob. Yeah. Yeah. Jamie King is very, very... She's yeah. very pretty. Yeah. yeah. I agree. She was in that uh, show on Netflix called Black Summer... And I got through the first season of that, but I couldn't do the second season. I was just like, I can't. First thing I seen that her was in. the prequel to, um, or was it a prequel? Was that the prequel to um, Z Nation? Or, or no, that was Black no, Rainbow. it's not a prequel. It, it is, it is a zombie show, but there was a prequel to Z Nation that it was like you totally defeated the whole purpose of Z Nation by making this. So I, I was know. not interested at all. First time I ever seen her in anything was a uh, Bulletproof Monk. I hadn't seen that in so long. Yeah, yeah. I've only seen it like once. I've never seen it. It's but yeah, there's a, there's a dude a good casting this movie. is insane. Like yeah, yeah. Like I re- I remember like some of these actors in here. I'm just like god damn. Like whenever I saw it the first this movie the first time I was like I you know I was like yeah he's a good actor you know but now they're like big name at like Benicio del Toro dude like well like yeah. Chloe Owen where the hell did like what the hell happened to him who Chloe Owen. Owen. Right, I, yeah, I really he, loved him. Like, yeah, he, he was be, everywhere. It's yeah. Back whenever this movie came out, he was almost everywhere. Like, yeah, he did. Who's dude did this? Shoot him up. He was in all kinds of shit. Uh, yeah. Children of Men. Children of Men. Uh, like, he was I in all loved kinds of him shit. back and then, then. And like now, you're lucky just, if you see him in like low budget stuff. Yeah, and, I never see him anymore. Like, yeah. I really liked Clive Owen back in the day. Clive Owen, and then it's funny because like Brittany Murphy is in this. She's dead now, and I was like, man, she's like, 
she she's not so the best beaut- actress, but she's, she's so, so pretty. She's so beautiful. And yeah. yeah, I agree with you. Like her acting in this, in some things she does all right. Well, but I in think this, that the way that like, they act in this movie is is supposed to be a little overacted. A little overacted for because he's trying to get that whole uh like detective noir yeah like the 40s detective 40s like detective movies and, yeah you know shit like that like that's what he's trying to capture the way they talk and the way they act and i get that but i almost kind of it's kind of over the top for me that's one of the reasons why i, I don't blame you I, it's it's a very it's a very mm. niche yeah way it's like it's a great way for like movie. actors to show their talent don't get me wrong yeah but for me like i just Cannot but they didn't have the to actually to... act to act that way. Like yeah. anybody can do that. Just make it look like you're reading off a cue card and overemphasize and and overact. Yeah. That's all that is. Because that's what they did in those old 1940s so do it. movies. Huh? Do it. I don't. I don't, don't shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mind it. Um... I I mean I don't mind it, but at the same time I get why why people could be annoyed with it. Or, yeah. Or that's what, like, like I said, that's why I'm, I wouldn't be into watching it again. I'll right. tell people, yeah, like you said, should watch niche, this. It's a very niche thing. I, you know, I tell, I'll tell people, yeah, if you haven't watched it, watch it. But I'm not the type of person, hey, it's, mm-hmm. you know, I'm not going to be like, oh, it's great. And, yeah, it's, for me, it wasn't. Some of the story, like some of the stuff in this movie is really awesome. I think that obviously the two best stories are the Marv story and the hardigan story Mm -hmm. obviously people we've we went straight into what let's talk about the movie so yeah i remember the marv story more than i remembered anything else for some reason like i remember because of marv it's because of marv i remember that whole movie from beginning to end you want to know why why because i just watched last night well, it's funny because I didn't remember. I like I remembered very little of the Hardigan story, even though I remembered like the Yellow Bastard, and I remembered like Bruce Willis, and I remembered I remembered bare bones of that story, right? But I didn't remember much else. But I remembered almost every single thing about the Marv. Story. I remembered everything about this movie. Well, I've seen this movie a few. I've seen this movie quite a few times, but I remember everything about the movie. I just as it was playing out. I was re- it was all coming back to me. So like all the little details and stuff that like, you know, like I uh, barely remembered the the Clive Owen. That's one, one I that I remember didn't that one. remember too much was the Clive Owen story. I remember, but I remember that one, but that was the one that was like as I was watching it, it was all just like flooding back. Flooding back, back yeah. yeah. I barely remember that one. I remembered the Josh Hartnett. Like I knew when he walked out there, I'm like, oh, he's gonna kill her. Yeah, right. You yeah, know what I mean? Like yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Um, stuff like that. But like, yeah. Funny because that wasn't even in the comic. That was actually yeah. something that Robert Rodriguez and just added you know, I never read the to try to sell it to to try to get uh, Frank Miller or whatever. Not Frank Miller. What the fuck is his name? It's Frank Miller. Frank Frank Miller was the, um, the comic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. To get him on board with letting him direct these movies. Yeah, he that shot was his that. test. Yeah. yeah, he shot that. He wanted to show him that um, we he could make a it. comic live on screen. Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Essentially, bringing a comic book to life. Yeah. Um. But I never read the comics, but like watching it this time, I kind of want to because I, think I have all the comics. Upstairs. Do you? Yeah. Does it give background on these characters? Because sure like that's what I'm interested like in the now. I think, guy. I think I have a Dame to Kill for. I don't have, which is I think Marv's story. Yeah, because like he keeps saying, I have the condition, and you know, like all this stuff, and it's like, well, what, ha- like, what condition? That's the point. Like, they're not supposed to give a lot of. Background. Yeah, I'm not I know. Sure that they I guess really went in depth with the comic books. I guess I'm like, not sure. I'm not. Don't quote me on those people. I don't know a lot about. You got people comics. in the comments coming in. <laughs> yeah. Hold on now, man. Wait mother- a second. Yeah, no, I just wonder. Like, I don't know. It's weird because I never thought about it before, and I've watched this probably two or three times, but like this time I was watching it, and I'm like. I'm really interested in like, you know, okay, so Clive Owen's character is a murderer with a new face. So who did he murder? And like, I, I just like want to know. And like, that might be in there. Actually, yeah. I you know, a, I, honestly, I think a dame to kill for it is a dame to kill for is Clive Owen's character. But Josh Brolin, like Josh Brolin plays that character. And I think I'm not sure if it's a, the face that he had before Clive Owen or after or something like that. It might be before. Hmm. Because it also has Marv in it. But the the weird thing about a dame to kill for is 
I don't know if it's a sequel or a prequel because it has Marv in it, but it's also got Jessica Alba in it, and she's go she goes on a path to revenge Hardigan's death, goes on to kill uh, the senator. She wants to kill the senator, and Marv helps her do that, which I didn't understand because I'm like, hold on, now Marv died. Yeah, Marv how is this got, after yeah. if Marv's not if Marv's alive? So I I don't remember all of because I remember watching. I've only seen it once, and I think I was confused by that in some way. Well, but, yeah, because the timeline. And then Josh Brolin is in there as uh, as Dwight. He plays Dwight, and I'm not sure exactly what iteration of Dwight he's playing. If he's like an earlier or later version, mm. so it's all very confusing. But like, I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever watch that one. I might watch it again just because of, I was confused by it. Yeah, I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I just it got it got me thinking about the comics and like what am I missing, like character wise for that because like some of these characters just by the story itself got me interested in like prior events i guess um and usually i don't care necessarily like the less i know the better but i think that i think that i the less i know the better is more geared towards like horror stuff right because I, I want to be scared, like, but in this... They're, they're leaving a lot of things open in. Yeah, and, you know, like, I guess it's like true crime, right? And like, in true crime, you want to know all the facts. Right. And, like, in this, it's like, okay, but you I need... little to, bits and pieces. Yeah, like, I need to know where Dwight came from. Yeah. I want to know what happened. And, you know, Marv, what's that's, his condition? Like, what's... The, the, but that's what you're going to get whenever you're running four stories in a two-hour movie. I Yeah, know? no, and I get that. So. I just wonder if, like the comics answer some of that and i'm sure they go into more depth here and there yeah i might have to get into that a little bit because like i i think that this movie itself it kind of shoots itself in the foot a lot because of that reason because it's you 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 got half half baked characters in here that you're like hold on well i don't know i mean because you can take it two ways um like, because this is the first time that that thought's occurred to me. And I've seen it a few times. I think this is a story that could have been best told in a series. Like, sure. Like a 10 episode series or something. Sure. You know what I mean? Sure. Um, but this is the first time that that's occurred to me, which, you know, tells me that, you know, you could take it two ways, right? You could take it as, you know, intriguing, but let's move on to the next story. Um, and, you know, you're not supposed to get too far into their backstories. You're not supposed to care that much, I guess. Um, which I guess is probably the way I took it the first few times, but this time I was more like intrigued because I guess, I don't know. I don't know why I was intrigued this time. This time I was more like, okay, I it's need It's funny because the older understand. we get, I think the more we pay attention to movies. Maybe that's it. Maybe because, that's... like, I remember watching this movie back in the day thinking like, yeah, it's a fun movie. It's just dumb and, and there's boobies in it and it's got a lot of violence and, yeah. you know, but now I'm watching it and I'm thinking like, I'm actually analyzing this movie and like it just there's the, a lot of reasons the you know? best thing about it is is the visuals for sure and the yeah i like the comic book yeah like because you can tell it was all shot in front of green screen sure it had to be sure oh yeah definitely because there are certain areas of this movie where it's like it looks almost drawn like a black and white dr- drawing of you know oh yeah like especially that part where they were anytime they're driving you know yeah, anytime I mean? they're driving, but like especially that part where they're like in the uh uh Marv and the in the uh in the lady what's her name? Goldie. Uh, huh? Or Goldie or her sister. No, 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 neither of them. The, oh. the ther- therapist? Not the th- she's not a therapist, she's uh the parole no, officer. Parole officer, yeah. Yeah. They're Lucille. in that yeah, she's they're in that Kevin's got them locked up or whatever. And it shows that shot of those two on the floor. And you can see the floor and the tile on the floor. Yeah. It looks very just, it doesn't look like. Looks 2D. Yeah, it looks very 2D. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, and that's, I think that's what they were trying to go for. Yeah. Sure, yeah, absolutely. A lot of it. Absolutely. Like that part where Dwight shoves um, Jack Jackie Boy's face into the Piss. toilet. And it yeah. shows that image of just his face. Yeah. And it starts to darken in certain areas. That part is actually in the comic book. Mm-hmm. and the shit with water. the comic book yeah <laughs> with the comic book there's no shading it's all just black and white yeah so like they were trying to really capture that and the way they did it looked really good oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The movie mm-hmm. you know like it was in the comic book mm-hmm. and i think that's what i think that's what they were trying to say with robert rodriguez and 
him saying I could turn this movie, this comic book. Yeah, he wanted to make it a living comic book. Yeah, essentially. It, yeah. I can make and this he, a and living he did. comic book. He did. So, and yes, I think he did a great job. I think a lot of it is fun and you know, like that part where he busts in and uh uh like that part where Hardigan busts in and shoots those two guys with his gun, they go flying. It's like, mm-hmm. you know, that shit yeah, doesn't happen. Right. It's great, you know, you love right. it. But that's part of it, though, is like it's it's taking that living comic book and really running with it. Right. Because in comic books, those over the top things happen all the time. And, you know, you just run with it because it's a comic book. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the difference. That's what we're seeing is the difference between media. Right. We talk about that all the time is that, you know, you take a book and you turn it into a movie and there's always going to be fans that hate, you know, you took my favorite book and you ruined it because you turned it into a movie or whatever. Um what they literally did with this was they literally took the 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 comic comics and and just transferred it to this media and in doing so they tried their very best to not change a thing and i think that in some ways that rubs people wrong you know because it's over the top or it's you know whatever um not done to their specifications yeah um to me i think it, it worked really well but i think the problem is is you know Number one, visually, it's stunning, right? Like, visually, you're just drawn in and you love it. Um, but the problem is, is, you know, they're, like, in the second one, right? Um, and I haven't seen the second one, I don't think. And if I did, obviously, it didn't yeah. didn't it make, an, uh, it, it it didn't make for, an impression. It, it is a forgettable movie. Yeah, so, um, obviously, the visual, the visual can only take you so far if the story sucks, right? But that's so, that's that's the problem with this though is like it's got four stories to keep you yeah, invested yeah and to keep and just it going, as, as soon as you get into the one story they're on to the next one it's on to the next one uh-huh. yeah so that's what so, I, that's kind of what I hate about it but also what I love about it because yeah like I said a dame to kill for is just one solid it's story. a hard it's a hard thing to critique yeah. because I like it but I hate it yeah, yeah. exactly yeah like, I agree. would you like it if it was just one solid story throughout. Or would you hate it more? You know, well, and the thing is, is that you can't, that you, you can't really say that you would hate it or you'd love it because if they made it that way, you'd never know the difference. Exactly. But if, you know, I, I really liked all of the stories. I just wish I knew more about mm. each one of them. Right. So, I mean, I'm like you, I wish that I could have seen maybe a series giving a little more background, I think a little a more information. series would have been cool for something like this and not yeah. just... Like, oh, well, we're going to do one story for every two episodes or something. Just sprinkle a little bit of each story. Yeah, you could do, you could do that, four, yeah. that four, you know, four story in uh, each episode. Just give us a little bit you of know, each. I mean, yeah, you, you can do that. Get through it. Yeah. You can do that flavor like they did in the movie to keep you, you know. Well, intri- if you, you think know, about it, they do that with TV shows already. Look at like Shameless. Yeah. You've got all these characters and all these cast of characters and yeah. they've all got their own problems going on for this entire season yep. yes they cross paths and things like that but and you could do that with the sin city show yeah you know they could cross paths here and there. absolutely you know what i mean yeah. but it don't mean that they have to be like one solid story between these you know eight or nine characters yeah you know i got two things i gotta bring up though so when he got his head shoved in the toilet and then he came back up he didn't even try to like Take a shower, wash his hair, nothing. No, no, he's just ready to get the fuck out He just out of walked there. right out and went straight to Old Town expecting to get I laid. Have, I have a slight, <laughs> I have a, a gripe about that story. Okay, so, all right, so, Jackie Boy's supposed to be like this hero cop, right? And you're telling me that the girls of Old Town don't fucking know who he is? Or, but Dwight does? Oh, Iron Jack is what they call him, what the tabloids call the, him. I thought the same thing, too, like, because, like, how would they know? Like, when they see like, his picture okay, in the papers or saying. something, like, because the girls if he's of a O-Town, fucking hero cop. Yeah, the girls of O-Town and the cops have a truce that they're supposed to be, you know, not fucking with each other. And the, and the and Maybe the girls, not every a, single one of them would know him, but somebody. But somebody, well, especially, especially Rosario Dawson's exactly. character. Exactly. What's her name, Gail? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is it Gail? Like, she would have known him. And who damn, he was. damn, Rosario yeah. Dawson in this movie. Sorry. And here, oh, I mean, yeah. another thing, if, <laughs> if that was the case, if he was such Starts a hero about cop, when well, the one cop... She's got... <laughs> getting scared all Oh, man. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, uh, going on to that subject about him being a hero cop, when the other cop goes over to ch- chase him and follow him, when, he ran the pl- when he's running the plates while he's chasing him, don't you think that would pop up and said, hey, this is so-and-so, and he'd be like, oh, okay. Or well, even better yet, why the hell would he try to lose the cops? Like, Yeah, exactly. He is a hero cop. He probably just people over and like, 
And like, oh, it's just you, Jack. All right, well, have a good night, man. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? And walk away. Yeah. Yeah. One thing I will say about uh, Benicio Del Toro, though, his character, is the makeup they did on him. Yeah. It's so subtle. Yeah. Like, they you j- all they did like the nose all they and... did was just his nose. Like, yeah. that's all they did was his nose. But you can barely tell it's him. And the way he talks. Him. And, yeah. you know, I, think, I honestly think that Benicio Del Toro was the best actor in this movie for sure like he did such a good job for sure and but you can barely tell it's him and and it's it's just such a subtle makeup Funny because i forgot he was in this movie until i saw him at the girl's door Mm -hmm. i was like holy shit i forgot he was in this yeah Yeah. (laughs) and it's it's just crazy to me that it's such a subtle job but you can barely tell it's him yeah like the long hair and shit, all that stuff throws you off too. Well, I don't even think it's just the long hair. Like I've seen him with long hair before. It's and literally what? just taking his nose, like where he's got that dip, and just making it straight. Yeah, it and like, that's all they did. Like yeah, they took that. Yeah, that's all they did. Where he has that dip, and they just made it straight, and and that changed his face so much. I have another question. So all right, so Mickey Rourke's character, why did they even need to put any makeup on him? <laughs> I'm just saying. Who was he playing as? He was Marv. Marv. The Why did they Madison, have, to dress have you up ever his seen face? what Mickey Rourke Mickey looked Rourke like? Mickey Rourke is an ugly son of a bitch now. Like he fucked himself up with all that plastic surgery. Yeah, he got shit. Have you ever seen what he looked like when he was young? Oh, he was no. a good looking dude. Yeah, like, yeah, he was handsome as shit. And then he went and started getting all pretty much what Zac Efron's doing now. Did you guys catch the Lancelot uh, joke? This is what Marv looked like when he was young. Yeah, that's the guy who played Marv right there. That's what he looked like. The cop guy? No, no, the guy the... with the beat up like the face. He was the hard ass. The one that went after uh, Kevin, oh. the Goldie story, and that's what he actually looks like. That's what no, looked that, like. no, that's what that he looked like, like when he was young. No, yeah. I mean what he looked like in the movie. He actually looks like that. When no, he when he no, not when ago. not when he thirty years not ago. when he made the not, not when he made, he made the, the movie when he made the wait, movie. Wait, which character are we talking about? Marv, the guy with the fucked up face. He was like the barbarian type dude. He was he was like beating the shit out of everybody. When he made the movie, it was more like this. Yeah, that's what he looks like now. Oh. Yeah, plastic surgery and shit, you know? Marv is the guy with the fucking... He's... The one with the weird nose? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. And that's what he looked uh, like when he was young, just for comparison's sake. Yeah. He's a good-looking dude, but he fucked his face up. Fucking hot. Why would you fuck your... Why would you fuck up that face? Well, Zac Efron's doing the same thing. Yeah, fair enough. Have you seen fucking pictures of him? Who's Zac Efron? What what was... Huh? Who's Zac Efron? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. No. No. (laughs) I'm not kidding. Who's you don't know who Zach? She doesn't know who Zach Efron. I'm sure if you told she me who he played with, I... with that shit, didn't she? Like High School Musical and all that. She doesn't strike me as. You're talking kid about that, that like guy, that. Zach Efron. Yeah. I never watched High School Musical. Yeah, he's in. All you should kinds watch. Of shit now. You should watch something. Uh... You should watch Neighbors. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was Neighbors good. fucking hilarious. He played. Uh, I was Ted Bundy. on watching that this week. Yeah, he was Ted Bundy in the in the Netflix show or that. movie or whatever. You should watch it. He does a good job. Yeah. What was up with the gloves? The the mitt, the mitten for, things. Yeah, he like what got is the big the ass gloves point to of like those? spread. Like, dude, you've been you beat down doors and was that, punched guys' lights. Was out. that the only point? Was just to spread yeah, out the barbed wire. Yeah, just to spread that barbed wire. It's like you can't you, handle some barbed wire, dude. Well, it's, he didn't even touch the barbed wire. Yeah, he, he was, was like, a spool. it was in a spool, and he's like using these big old bulky gloves. And, and like, I mean, I'm sorry, what? but those like, gloves are not. I mean, all it's going to do if you're actually touching the barbed wire, it's just going to get caught. You know what I mean? I don't. Under, I didn't understand the gloves anyway. Like, hold on, this motherfucker punches through, like, jumps through, like, car windows and jumps out of buildings. And, I was expecting and hits him to do so hard, something. Their heads explode. Do but he's something. Afraid of some barbed wire. Yeah, I was expecting him to do something with the gloves, other than just. And then they the did the, the barbed wire didn't even serve a purpose. No, he no. just jumped right he over. Just jumped yeah. over the fucking barbed wire. Can we talk about the guy that got with the ch- the arrow through the chest. That was funny. Oh, that God. was funny. That, I, I remember stomach, when like it nothing. happened. I was like, this. I remember that. <laughs> hey guys, there's, there's arrows. <laughs> no, you guys think I should go to a doctor? Goes, hey, hey. <laughs> You guys so how think about I should that? go to a doctor? <laughs> yes, yeah. You guys think I should maybe see a doctor or something? You know? <laughs> I like, hey, yeah. I like the guy like, before that. I'm, he's I'm, like, I knew there was a reason I came to work today. And then, hey! <laughs> 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 like, hey! Um, did you guys catch the Lancelot joke? Mm-mm. Uh, I don't when, think. Uh, the, the, oh, shit. What's her name? The main uh, hooker lady. Gail? Rosera Dawson. Gail? Yeah, Gail. When she looked at Clive Owen mm-hmm. and said, take it easy, Lancelot. You know he played Arthur in yeah. uh, that movie. Uh, was it? 
King Arthur. Keyed on King Arthur. Something. I think it was yeah. King Arthur, yeah. 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 I don't know what you're talking about. That, that I actually cracked up that one. Yeah. Yeah. And that could have been something even, that she threw into. I didn't even pick up on I could that, see, actually. Like, yeah, I could see Probably because I didn't there. watch King Arthur with him in it. But, uh, you know, I did... Um, it was kind of funny because I was, like, really... I was so into the stories because it's been so long since I watched this that I didn't realize that we hadn't had an intro card yet until, you know, we were, like, one and a half stories in, and then it comes up and it's, like, Sin City, and I'm like, huh, yeah, yeah. we haven't had that yet. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> uh, so the, my, one of my favorite lines from Marv is whenever he's get uh, get to Lake Beauty, he's like, he's like, just get, you get a move on. Yeah, I haven't yeah. got all night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he lay electric. He's like, is that all you got, you pussies? Yeah. <laughs> what was up with the Swastika Ninja Star? I didn't understand. Like I again, said, I think he's things. right. It's like they 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 used it for visuals. It's and like, like a style. Like they yeah. used it for style. Which I like, I said they couldn't get away with that. Now they could, yeah. they couldn't get away with half the shit they did in in this show or in this movie. Now. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I didn't have any problem with the offensive stuff. It was just no, I didn't for me. Know. It was just no. like I said. It was for me. It was just the the forties detective kind of thing. Sure, that that threw me off. Yeah, the vibe. It's boring. Yeah, for me. You know, one thing that drives me nuts in every movie though that I watch and it. It, when Marv did it, it was just the same. But like when somebody has some kind of like, you know, they get headaches or they get his condition or whatever. And, you know, so like they're the, the character's um, way of dealing with it is to pop pills like candy. And he's not just bottom. He's like, ah, but everybody yeah. does that. You know, Have you noticed that? Like in yeah. movies, you know, they're like, oh, I get headaches. And, you know, so then they take Excedrin. And there's like, just dump them down their just, throat. Yeah, it's like. But that, he does it in a way that it's like kind of funny because he's like, he's spilling them all over the place. Yeah. And, shit and he just. But, ah, but movies know? do that, you know. So, like, I'm sitting here thinking, okay, number one, if I have some kind of condition where I have to take a pill, like, it's, and I miss my it's, dosage. It's I'm just structured, gonna... right? Like, yeah. you're taking two every six hours or you're taking one a day or whatever. You're not just popping them every time you've got an episode going on. Right. And two, um, you're not just drinking them. I mean, like, and spilling them everywhere. Like, you're, you're, those are important to you because they keep whatever it is under control. So you know where every single one of those pills are, you know? Yeah. It just, it just, like, it drives me crazy. I don't know, maybe it's just because... I think for it, the sake of this movie, though, like... <sighs> It's excusable because yeah, I think that was supposed to be part of his character. Sure, and I, I get that. It's just like it's not just this movie though. You know, like you see somebody who's like, oh, I've got you know schizophrenia or whatever, and they're taking their pills like just like Marv did, where they're spilling them all over the, you know, car seat or I don't whatever. Like, whenever I take pills, I open up the jar and I sprinkle them in my hand and count the ones that I want to take. Yep. Put the rest back. Yep. And then they go in my mouth. Yeah. yeah. You know? And I mean, you know, pills are expensive. If they're controlling a condition you have, you know exactly how many you have or how many you need. Or how many you're supposed to take. Yeah. Right? And like, they could be deadly. Well, yeah. And like, <laughs> you know, if you don't have enough, especially in his world where he doesn't have a doctor or whatever, he's got to rely on somebody to get his pills. You would think he'd want to make sure he has enough. It's like somebody with like high, high blood pressure. It's like, oh, my blood pressure is like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What <laughs> was that? Was that a cock? <laughs> If that's what you take, ah. ah. Hey, I think we made it 20 minutes before we had another one. Uh, well, you're like, ah. Maybe, uh. <laughs> oh, um, speaking of, you know, in the first 20 minutes of the movie, there were two people who got shot in the penis. Yeah. Yeah. And then someone got um shot in the butthole, and then someone got axed again in the penis. All throughout the movie, actually, I was keeping track. That, that there actually made of, me there were a lot of penis cuttings and and kind of makes and me. And then he even rips one off, like oh, you know, make rips that it three. out. <laughs> when she said that butthole thing, it made me think of that home team movie. <laughs> Kid gets like the kicker always kicks the football and it hits the center in the ass. He's like, ah, my butthole, <laughs> <laughs> my butthole. <laughs> what was with the Charlie Brown sweater on Kevin? I never understood that. Was there a reference or something? I didn't see anything. I don't I know. Mean, Who's Kevin? That's what he wears that in the creepy comic dude book. With the claws. Oh, him. That's what he looks like in the comic book. If anybody knows, that's Elijah Wood. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I, I actually wrote it that way. I was like, what's with the Charlie Brown sweater, Elijah? He's the probably scariest kind of Motherfucker psychopath. Motherfucker is scary. I mean, yeah, constantly. Yeah. I see him in a back alley, I'd run. 
Right. Like, he's he's definitely the scariest kind of psychopath there could be. Oh, shit. Like, when he's cutting him up and he doesn't make a sound. Right. That's dude. And he's sitting no... there just sucking the meat off of the bones while they were sitting there yeah, watching. Yeah, then he's like, I tried to ther I tried to uh therapy Kevin through his dark t- uh there's darkness and blah blah blah. You didn't do a very good fucking job. He has such, oh, dude, that he has like, him at all. Look, like, he has such like an angelic worst. voice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that is like the worst man of God ever. And yeah. I don't just mean like the things he's doing in Sin City to let that thing still roam around. But then he also joins in. Yeah. Yeah, you are going straight to hell. Like, I'm sorry. That is insane. He eats their soul. Yeah. yeah excuse me. That's the sad me. part is you don't know Excuse me. But the thing is, though, you don't know who's worse. Him or the actual heroes. Because they're fucking terrible, too. Like, Marv is not a good person. No. He's a terrible fucking person. He kills everybody. Yeah. He kills innocent cops and all kinds of shit. Yeah. People just doing their jobs. He's Dwight is about that. the only one Did that has like Nick? a conscience. A more, you, yeah, like a moral you, you hear him saying, you know, like, oh, I don't know if this guy's got a family or, you know, like right. when he's trying to decide is he going to kill this person or whatever, you know, he's like, should I do something? Or, you know, like when he, when he gets pulled over by that cop, he's like, I don't know if this guy has a family or, you know. Like he's the only one you he hear. Yeah, the off chance he could be one of the honest ones. Yeah, he's the only yeah. one you ha- you hear having an internal monologue with himself where he's trying to make the right call. Yeah, he's about the only one with like a. Well, solid... and Hardigan, Hardigan too. Oh like, yeah, he's, obviously he's, Hardigan. He's, yeah. yeah, yeah, but he still bang tries almost bangs a nineteen year old. Yeah, yeah, that got a little weird. And you know the that funny did. thing is that the weird. first time I watched it, and maybe even. I don't know. I, I don't remember that ever being a thing that I thought was weird the first time. But that's I guess, because nowadays, yeah, now, now I, now nowadays I'm, you're programmed in your mind because that's what you know well, people find even wrong. Still, I think it's because now I'm a parent and I'm older, and I that know too. that that's. I think back then I was. Just I thinking, know that now lucky fuckers getting Jessica Alba. Right, and <laughs> like, now right? You know, like, now I'm thinking like if I had a 19 year old and somebody that that that's that age, I'd be like, no. Right. That, no. Yeah. I'm sorry. Even at my know? age, no. a 19 no. year old, kind of like, mm. yeah. Even yeah. What do you like, have in yeah. common? Huh? What do you have in common? Because I don't know about you. I sit there a lot of times and I go, I'm not old. I'm I not think old. for him. And then I get I think, around like you know the, 20 year olds. Yeah, and I'm like, you know, like, I'm old. I think yeah. for I'm like old. him and like you see this a lot in his face. He's just like, <laughs> you can tell he's trying to use his willpower to like push her back. Like, no, this is fucked up. Mm-hmm. I'm old enough to be your grandpa. But at the same time, he's like, but then again, I was locked up for eight years. Well, and I think the other <laughs> thing is, is that the only interaction he's ever had or well, that he's her. had for these eight years is just her letters. Her letters. Yeah. So it's easy to fall in love with someone like that. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying that it's necessarily okay, so it's, but it's, I understand. It's a good plot to show, they have. show the struggle he's dealing with mentally too, on top of that. Yeah. I, under, I understand the, the connection that they would have. I so you know, and I understand why she has that connection to him. Also, I'm getting blown the hell up. I think I am too. Messages. We have lives, people. <laughs> people like us and stuff. Quit talking oh, it's to Alec. me. <laughs> what is it? Yeah, he messaged me. Oh, a bullet ricocheted off that guy's head. Um. Yeah, that'd be Marv. Yeah. yeah. Why? Because Marv is. Does he like have a metal Hulk. plate in his the head? Only it thing that, like he the had only a metal thing that can hurt Marv head. that we have determined is barbed wire. <laughs> yeah, that's his <laughs> and only his hands. Yeah, it's his only kryptonite, man. Barbed wire. Yeah. Barbed wire and dames. <laughs> Even electricity. Dames. It took two times of electricity blonde to actually dames. do the trick. Yeah, well, dames. and you know, talking about Marv, like he, he kept saying, like, probably two or three times, I don't hurt girls, right? And then, like, he smacks that girl. Yeah, and then, like a couple scenes uh-huh. later, he smacks Wendy in the face. Mm-hmm. Right. Sorry, Blondie. Yeah, he, he, and then like um, uh, like what is it? Then uh, a couple is it like the next scene? He literally says, "I don't rough up dames again." But you just did. But you just smacked that bitch in the face. Like you knocked just, her you out cold her too. And knocked her out cold. Yeah, like you, you hit, hit her, her so hard. You hit. You, you smacked her, her hard enough yeah. to knock her out. She's gonna wake up so with at least a bruise. Some of this is like really contradicting. Like, like okay, like even the beginning scene, like Josh Hartnett's character kills that woman on the rooftop. Mm-hmm. How's he gonna hide that? What's he gonna do? Is he walking out? He's of that, that smooth with that, that he doesn't body? even have to. He didn't. He can just. Does leave he just there. walk away and leave her lay there? Probably. Probably. I don't know. I mean, whatever. I mean, that's. I guess it's like the. You know he what I mean? he like, repels off the. 
the side. Like, like Batman? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like the rest of the people in the he show? He made sure he had no fingerprints anywhere. I did like that at the very end of his speech, he said, I'll cash your check in the morning. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like... yeah. Yeah, I was like, how very uh, Sin City. So was he an speech, assassin? You know? Was he a cop? Yeah, he's, he's, a, paid, a, he's a paid assassin. He's, a, he's essentially a hitman. Oh, I yeah. thought he was a cop. No, he's, he's a paid assassin, like... And then I loved that they showed him at the end. At, well, I, you know, they show him for that scene. And then, um, you know, he, like we know that um, Robert Rodriguez used that to be able to make right, the movie. Yeah. But then he used it later to show what happens to Alexis Lydell's character. Right, yeah, Cause it's yeah. like, yeah, fuck you, bitch. Yeah. She, she was probably the most annoying character in the whole movie. Yeah, she I mean, you, very... it's it's funny because like when she you first see her when Jackie Boy comes up upon her, she's playing that character very well. Yeah, you know, very kind of like mm, I don't you know, do sorry, you know, um, not gonna happen, <laughs> you know, blah, mm, okay. And then at the you know, um, you just made the everyone this movie came life, out sugar. just thinking like, man, she's like the prettiest girl. Yeah, and then like I heard that she's on Gossip Girl or what? Or was it Goss- not Gossip Girl? Uh, it's just one of them WDB shows. Yeah, yeah, what was it? Not Gossip Girl. It was the. Uh... I think it was just the black and white with the blue eyes. It was eyes. the one with the. It was the one with her and her mom or whatever. Oh, um, Gilmore Girls. Yeah, there you go. and I was just like, God, how annoying! <laughs> 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 I'm not watching that shit. Fuck that dude. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I just um, yeah, I remember like watching her character do that and like thinking, oh, you know. She played that so well, and then like immediately after that happens, immediately even before you knew she was a like a narc, a, yeah, narc. You're like, I don't like you, right? Anymore, yeah. I don't like you anymore. Like at first, it was, it was like, yeah, I kind of like. She seems like an alright character. Like, yeah, she's like, I don't do drip jobs, you know, like whatever. And then like the part where like they're like chopping up the bodies and shit, and she's like, Can I go home? I just want to go home. And it's like, Oh, you're a whiny bitch. I don't mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a fan. <laughs> yeah, I don't like not you a fan. Now. Um, I really, I think part of the reason that I really remembered the Marv story is because I really hated the ending. I hated that he took the fall. Yeah. He took the easy way out. I mean, I know that that's how it was going to, it's going to have to be because there's, to my knowledge, even in the comics, nobody ever takes down the Senator and all that stuff. So. And a dame to kill for, I think they do go after do the they? Senator. And but they do, do I don't him. think they ever take him actually down though. I think they do. I think do they, they kill him. Well, good. I'm not. I don't know though. I can't remember that movie. But I'm just saying that, like, I hated the fact that he took the fall instead of he took the easy way. Out. He could, it, yeah, or, he you know, like tried somebody. Oh, out. you're talking about. You're not talking about Marv. You're talking about. Uh, no, I'm talking about Marv. Because no, I'm talking about Marv. He got locked the electric chair or some shit. Oh, oh. I thought we were talking he, about you know, the he got caught. Yeah, he, he just, they they arrested him. And he said that he killed Goldie and he killed. You know, all these other people, you know. Well, and he, and, oh, and, he, and you, he took the fall for all of Kevin's kills. Do you know why? And... Yeah, I know, I know, because they said that they were going to... Um, kill his mother. They were, were going to go after so his mom. So he decided, all... okay, well, then fuck I it, I'm I get I'm it, but I hated the ending. I wish that... I mean, like, I just hated he it. He wasn't going to take the fall, and, and then they brought his mom into it, so he... I know, I hated it, though. Like, I just hated that ending. His mom's <laughs> older than him. Yeah, she she's lived her life. Yeah, there we go. Kill the bitch. Look at me. You think she was a good mom? (laughs) (laughs) She beat the shit out of me. Yeah, look at me, dude. I used to look normal. (laughs) I'm the reason. She's the reason I'm afraid of barbed wire. (laughs) (laughs) Oh god, that's so funny. So, um, Nick Stall. He's super creepy in this movie. Oh man, man. super creepy. What what in the world would make somebody? I thought he looked like Peter Parker at first. Why would somebody take this role? He looked like a crazy Peter Parker. Crazy Peter Parker. Like the original? I forget his name. Tobey Maguire. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta say, I think that he does a great job. He does, but... But it's almost too too well done. Yes. (laughs) Yes. He's too creepy. It's like... But to be fair, like, he's always kind of done that pretty well. Yeah. I mean, you think about uh, disturbing behavior. I mean, like, he's... He's able to flip that switch. That's the sad part. He's a really good actor. He is. He, his problem is his downfall in his career was getting into drugs. Mm-hmm. And, and they called it the John Connor curse because him mm-hmm. and Edward uh, Furlong were the same. But Edward Furlong had a somewhat of a career for a while. And then he kind of. 
Well, so did so did Nick Stahl. I, mean, I know. Yeah. He did that. He, did, he was well, Terminator not, 3. Well, not, and... not after Terminator, though. It's true. And, well, which one did he do first, this or Terminator 3? This. This? Yeah. It's I just know, sad. I just, I, I, yeah. I, he still did movies and shit after that. But what it, was that movie you really liked, man? Disturbing Behavior. Yeah, Disturbing Disturbing Behavior, Behavior yeah. Yeah, I really like that movie. Him and James Marsden. Or Marsden. Or Marsden. Marsden, yeah. Um, the albino dude. <laughs> <laughs> Who else was in that? He was, was like Ali Larder. He was like the too? ducky. Of... No, that was um your th- uh, the one that was named or married to Tom Cruise. Katie Holmes. Was it? Kid? Oh, it was Katie Holmes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that's all the notes I got. I didn't really get a lot of notes on this movie. No, no, yeah, no. I, I was watching. I was like, I got like. I mean, we page. talked a lot for not having a whole lot of notes. That's I didn't have a whole lot of notes either. You know, I, I got. Like, I was like, this is just a movie that you only talk about. You don't really take yeah. notes on this sort of movie. That's kind of what I went with. Yeah. Well, the stories go by so fast that it's hard to really take notes on. Yeah. Really. I had three more. I had. Um, I really like the the parts where Hardigan has like an internal monologue. Like when he talks to himself and he's like, you know, get up, old man, and like I really, I do. That was my, I really love. That was my favorite thing. Yeah, so. I don't, I don't know why. I, well, I love Bruce Willis's voice first of all, and then you know. Well, he was in Look Who's Talking. I know. <laughs> I love that movie. He was a little kid. He was the voice. Yeah. I know. Mikey. I used to watch that movie all the time. <laughs> Where is Julie's penis? <laughs> <laughs> Did it fall off? <laughs> um, and then was this? Because I can't remember. Was this like one of those? One of the first movies that did that whole, like, where there was um, several stories, and then it had, like, this kind of, you know, re- wraparound, where, like, in this, it was the city, but they had they had characters that kind of interacted, you know, like, so Marv, like you know. Like an anthology, almost? Sort, sort of. Sort of like that, like. Sort of, but, like, you know, because, uh, you know, Marv was in, you know, well, okay, Brittany Murphy's character. Not really, character. because you could say she four was rooms. in a lot of the stories. That's true. Because I was going to say, Brittany Murphy it. was in all four stories, but she was only a main character in one. Was she in all four? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I guess she was. She was in the Hardigan one, too, for a second. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. And Marv shows up in, I think, three of them. Because he's in the first one for a little while, because Clive Owen makes the comment, you know, like, oh, you he's, know, Marv, or no, Clive Owen shows up in Marv's, maybe. He's in all But I just remember Clive Owen making the comment that you know, Marv would be right at home as a... There's technically... Yeah, he's in all of them because he's in Dwight's. Yeah. For... Or wait. No, he's not. Was no, he I think a, I, I think Dwight shows up in Hardigans. Marv's. Yeah, Dwight's in Marv's. Yeah, you're right. He wasn't in Dwight, uh, yeah. Dwight's. So yeah, I guess you're right. Only uh, Brittany Murphy's the only one. Yeah. Yeah. I'd she shows I'll... up in all well, four. Nancy. I think Nancy's in all three of them, isn't she? Mm. No, no, no. He's not, she's not in Dwight's. No. No. Because yeah. Dwight's is very... Dwight's is, Dwight's is almost his is like just O Town and yeah and, uh, Dwight's yeah. Dwight's is almost like like kind of exclusive to itself almost right yeah because he's kind of like he doesn't go to Katie's which is the bar mm-hmm. in his story yeah he go he he's just it shows him starting out with the 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 bartender waitress and then from there he goes to O Town it's just one of the first movies I remember that had that kind of interactive character yeah yeah right right I, it was definitely one of the first to do it and i just don't say, remember if I it mean, was other other movies have done that like i said four rooms has done that mm-hmm. um, i don't remember when four rooms came out though oh it was way before this. was it yeah. okay yeah. yeah i guess you're right yeah you're right well it's funny because robert already has, actually does one of the stories in four rooms too he did didn't yeah he? yeah you're right <laughs> um and actually the one with uh antonio banderas yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Which makes sense. Yeah, right. <laughs> and why the hell would you get in the car with the guy you shot you? I don't care how much time is going right, by. Dude. Fuck yeah. that. Michael I would Madsen. hate him forever. I would just fucking walk. I love walk. Michael Madsen. Though. I know, but I'd walk. I'd walk before I get in the car yeah, with that motherfucker. You, but yeah, but that's I it. That's all the notes I had then. That's Mr. Blonde, man. I love Michael Madsen. Well, for sure, but fuck him. Fuck him so hard. He he fucking shot Bruce Willis. Fuck him so hard his ear gets his ear falls off. That's right. <laughs> That's Brandon right. Seen From Reservoir gangrene. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's get into our reviews. Let's go, this bitch. Karen, what's your review? Why do I always get picked to go first for that? Anyway, 
Because I like fucking with you. That's fine. I don't know what. I have enough. <laughs> confidence. I don't know you. you can go first. I like. I have enough confidence in my own reviews. I don't care. <laughs> so, okay. So first of all, um, obviously the visually striking thing has to be brought up. This was probably one of the first movies to do that, and there's been a lot of movies that's copied it since. And in my opinion, no one else has been able to do it nearly as well, um, because they copied. And because they all try to do variations of it, and none of it's ever worked as well as um, this one did. And uh, I really like the fact that there's a bunch of different stories, but I also hate it. So it's kind of one of those catch-22s. And I really wanted to know more about the characters this time around. Um, Even though normally that doesn't bother me so much, I guess. Uh, but I really liked, um, I know you hated it, but I liked the acting, um, sort of some of them, I can see where you were coming from. Well, I don't, like, I didn't, I, I don't didn't, hate the acting as well, much as I do. Some the... of them did go over the top, like Brittany Murphy. Oh, way she could have, she could have toned that down. Yeah, she could have toned it down a lot. Yeah. Like, that, that one like, was too Dwight, over. The... You stupid man. Yeah. Like I said, just I don't hate like over. Damn. Yeah. I don't yeah. hate it for the <laughs> acting fact i just don't like 40s detective noir. you don't like noir yeah i don't i like, like noir. noir i really i, do. Like I think noir. i think it's i think it's an underutilized genre of yeah, absolutely like was I it the game noir. noir where you're like a detective oh i love that i love that game but mm-hmm. i just for the summer like movie wise i cannot get into the noir movie oh man style. i'll tell you what i love that i love the whole look of that stuff like um that's i well, think that's one of my favorite actually one of my favorite things about like i know this is the like a deep cut, but um, uh, who framed Roger Rabbit? Yes, that's yes. what I was going to say. So I think that's one of my favorite things about the that look, movie is the, yeah. look, the, and the, the, the yep. look and the like the detective yeah. thing about like it. Like the shape of water. I love the yeah. look of that movie yeah. because that's of that. One of my favorite things about that movie, the, because of the the that that, that era that that aesthetic that like aesthetic forties. I old love that. Cars and I like the, love yeah. it. I yeah. love it. That's my favorite freaking thing ever yeah. but i just didn't like the movie. my mom always told me she goes joseph i think you should you were born in the wrong era she's like she's like, she's like i think you should have been a, like a 1940s teenager mm-hmm. I'm i like, guess Why? It, she's it, like you just an old like you like old fashioned like that i'm like yeah. the I constant guess, yeah. monologuing i guess is what killed it for me like i like i like watching the 40s detective movies that they're interacting but when they're just constantly talking their head it's kind of I guess that's where it throws I like me that. Off. I like the internal monologue, especially like you said with Hardigan, who's yep. awesome. With Marv, it's cool because it's cool to see how what he bounces thinking. back and forth between his insanity yep. and all that. Like, don't get me wrong. For I some think of without them, like, that, you, you like seeing you would, Dwight's you'd, monologue you'd is so cool. Much. Dwight is cool because he's like he's that he's a he's got a good moral compass. Mm-hmm. I like whereas like some of the other ones, you're like, why are we listening? To this? I like, you know mo- I mean? like yeah, I like the monologue to a point. It's just not excessive, too much. Too much monologue. For was, some for, of it, for, yeah. For me, it was just too much monologuing going on. Now, if it was more interaction going on, then I'd probably been a little bit more into it. For me, but go ahead. Yeah, I get it. Um, but I would say, you know, um, it, set the, it set a standard that I think a lot of um, movies have since tried to mimic, and uh, that has to be uh, something right there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and then, um, obviously there's a lot of big names in this and, um, most of them brought an A game in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm going to come in and I'm going to say seven. I'm going to go with the seven. I think it's a solid seven. Joseph? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I like a lot of what Karen said. I agree with a lot of what she said. I do think uh, some of the overacted parts are a little obnoxious. Um, I love the black and white. I love the certain things being colored whenever they need to be colored. Like Those whenever reds gold, and the yellows. Like he thinks Goldie's the... walking in. Yeah. And it's, you know, you see her hair color and then she changes and then he realizes, oh, that's Wendy. Yeah. Not, you know, it's not Goldie. And things like that. Certain things, whenever, because the things are only colored when they pay to the story yeah like whenever it's being uh used they're only the colored story. when it's in, when it's important and whenever to what's it's happening important or, to be yeah colored, yeah mm-hmm. like the part where he's killing that uh that um uh religious dude or whatever and it's like the blood squirt on his face that's important because yeah. you're seeing 
it kind of gives that tension of like this is what he's doing and how brutal it probably is yeah. even though they're not showing it um i think that's cool because one of my favorite types of art is um i always i used to be i used to do that all the time i would draw something and i was never i never liked to color my drawings but i would like to, i would like color just like the blood or something just to give it that little bit of color and i always yeah. thought it was it was cool i loved artwork like that like as you can see i don't care about a lot of color in art yeah so but i just i think that um i think that was probably one of my favorite things about the movie in general um i agree i think that hardigan listening to him and like talk about himself in the in the manner of like how old he is and how he's not sure if he can get through this because of his age and he's just beat down and things like that i think that's really cool um uh i do think that some of the parts are very obnoxious i think that marv is obnoxious at times even though he's probably the most badass character you know what i mean like he's a fucking hard ass like he straight blasts through that door takes out these guys jumps fucking 30 stories and then you know and then lands in a pile of trash and just keeps going and then like puts his feet through a fucking windshield and you know what i mean like yeah he's just a badass that first sequence you're just like yeah you're like you're hooked into it yeah yeah, yeah, he's just no shits given yeah so um but there's a lot of things to love about this movie i mean i think uh uh i think a lot of people come in and try to give their a game some of them kind of you know trip over their own feet like Brittany Murphy kind of, you know, you know I think God she rest tried, her soul, but, but yeah, yeah, I think she, she, she over, she tried a little too hard and I didn't like it. Um, but I think for the most part, it's a good movie. I've seen this movie several times and I think that I'm going to come in and I'm going to say I'm torn between, I think I'm going to give it, I'll give it a seven. I was going to give it a six and a half. I was kind of torn, but I think that I'm, I'm probably being a little harsh on it. Um, after all these years and i'll, I'll give it a i think it's a seven okay. oh, fuck that i'm giving it a six and a half i'm going with my gut i'll okay. give it a six and a half i think it's six and a half is it's honestly it's fair okay for especially for a robert rodriguez movie because this is not his best movie yeah like, by yeah. any means desperado is like fantastic it's one of my all-time favorites i love desperado you don't like it? I've never seen it. You never seen it? Uh, oh, I love Desperado. It's I know so I need to watch it. I it's do. so good. It's not. I mean, it's. it's I think part it's of, on my list. I think. But like, he's got a lot of good movies. Some good, some bad. Like from dusk till dawn. Anybody? I love that movie. Yeah, amazing movie. Yeah. So like, but for this, I mean, it's good, and I love what he did. And I, think I just that, like the that it it almost it just it took that. That visual thing, and everybody was it's, like, "It's yeah. amazing!" And they if took it. If you would have asked me to... fifteen years ago, I'd straight up tell you, "Oh, this is this movie's easily an eight and a half, nine. Yeah, but now, yeah, no, I wouldn't. It's back all back the then, titties. huh? It's because you like all the titties. No, I don't care about that. Whenever you were Boop. little, <laughs> little. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that's not even it either. Like, I just love the movie back then for its artistic value and. It just hasn't aged well. In my I think opinion. it's just that historical thing for me. Yeah. That it, you know, oh, you it, forgot to mention that in HBO Max, they cut out the part where yeah, the they woman cut got out a smacked. part in, on the HBO Max, like because I watched it on HBO Max. And yeah, they cut out a part where Brittany Murphy gets smacked by Jackie Boy. Mm-hmm. I didn't understand. Yeah. I was like, why'd they cut that out? Like, because it goes from him standing there in front of her to her on the floor in tears, mm-hmm. and then grabs that knife and says that she'll cut his little pecker off or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, why did they cut that out? Dude, like, it was it. Did they fuck up, or is it something they just didn't want to show? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't I didn't understand that. Like, there's other women in this that get hit. I don't understand why this would be so important. I didn't, I don't know if it was just something that fuck, they fucked up, or yeah. or what, but I didn't understand. I don't know. Whatever. It's not a big deal, I yeah. guess, because yeah. I know what happens. Right. Like, obviously, I she's... Didn't. Just picture him smacking her. Uh, I mean, I thought it was supposed to be there on purpose until you said something. I was yeah, like, oh, yeah. it's, it's it's definitely taken out. Yeah, they took it out for some reason. Yeah. I don't know why, but... but yeah, my rating went up slightly just because of that that historical thing where it was you know where See, they had that, me, that like, visual. And... I've seen it so many fucking times that it was just like one of those things where I was like, eh. It's kind of no. I mean, like people copying it, and it became like this. Oh yeah, I that see. that's yeah. what I mean is that it became something that you know people were. It took people by storm. It really you know did. I mean? It was definitely some, and then he tried to redo, it, like recapture that magic with the Dame to kill for, and he just kind of fell on his face. Right. He did the well, same thing with that. Spirit well, he relied movie too much too. on the visuals and not too, not enough on the story. I think. Right. 
And well, the uh, the spirit. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that. It's another no, Frank I never Miller watched it. comic book that he turned into a movie, and um, I think it was directed by Roger Rodriguez. It's also got Samuel L. Jackson in it and stuff. But it was just kind of like it was like after Sin City, you see the spirit, and you're like, this isn't nearly as good as Sin City. And like it was just one of those things where like, like see now you're just kind of like kicking a dead horse yeah. here. So yeah. that's what I mean. That that was why this gets a little higher, just because it was the first and it took it by storm everybody was trying to copy it and, right you know that's why it got a little higher for me because i was at like six six and a half yeah but... I, i'll give it a six and a half i i think that's still pretty fair for for what we got here so. yeah so madison what do you think i think it was a black and white movie oh. sorry that's... um old movies make me fall asleep and i was about to fall asleep last night which i mean it wasn't the movie's fault it was also 11 o'clock at night because somebody starts all their movies at 9 o'clock. I'm sorry, I had softball draws for your softball. You got home at 8.30. <laughs> okay. No. Nothing's oh. ever good enough. No, thank you. Hmm. Tell me about it. I'm right. just joking. These kids don't kind appreciate of. nothing. I do too. I appreciate <laughs> a lot. I say thank you for dinner and he says thank the cow. So. Yeah, because that's who you should be thanking. I didn't die, the cow did. Am I wrong? And now no, he's in your he stomach. Thank you for your time and your effort. You can be appreciative. Right, you could have just forced me to make dinner, but you didn't. So I have to be you appreciative made. of her appreciation? Mm-hmm. So should you, you want to you wanna trade? I will trade you teenagers Shouldn't right she now. appreciate my appreciation for her <laughs> I will trade you teenagers right now. <laughs> yeah. Good luck with that one, pal. <laughs> okay. I'm good. Well, I... I got uh, two boys already. I'm good. I, uh... I grounded Elliot as soon as he came outside yesterday. <laughs> Just imagine him walking outside. You're grounded. What did I do? <laughs> what no, did I do? It's not what you did. It's what you're going to do. <laughs> he, he was out there for five minutes, and he got grounded. Dang. What did he do? Bitched the whole time that he had nothing to do, so his ass went back that inside. so annoying, dude. It's got to be a record. My kids well, do that all nothing to do. The Go the fuck inside. My boys do that all the time. Like, dude, you guys have everything a child could want. What else can I give you? Like, right? You've been. I have here, nothing more. Here's to my give thing. You. He was like bitching the whole time, like all week. He's like, "Let's go outside. Let's go. I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna go outside." As soon as we go outside, there's nothing to do out here. Can we? Can we ride bikes? I was like, "I gotta fill your, fill up your tires. I gotta get yeah. get the air compressor. Fill up the tires. Just not today. Don't feel bad." And then it constantly bitch. There's nothing to do. Go the fuck inside. Sit my on kids the couch. have Orbi guns, Nerf guns, fucking mini bikes. They've got bicycles. They've got scooters. They've got every mode of transportation. At their age, they can ride. They have every video game. They've got a PS5, PS4. They've got three PCs in this house. They all have laptops, tablets. I don't have a laptop. Mine broke. Hers broke. But <laughs> <laughs> but they've got, we've got, There's computers, every though. room in this house has a television. I've got a 65 inch in my basement. This is how many televisions we have. I'm just, it's ridiculous. And then they're like, I'm bored. I don't know what to do. I'm blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, dude. <laughs> I will punch you in the fucking You're face. You're really capturing Jackson and Gavin right now. Punch you right I will right punch now. you in the face right now, man. Like, go. Go do away. Something. Just go away. Go Leave me alone. Something. They've got a room full of toys. They've got yeah, just endless shit they could be doing. They ask for something. Boom. I, yeah, I'll get it, man. Don't worry. Like, they ask for uh, kinetic sand. Yep. Click. Got, got it. It'll be here tomorrow, man. No big deal. But no, we're bored. <laughs> like, come on, <laughs> you bored now? That yeah. take your mind off the like, boredom. Yeah, as soon as he started, go clean your nose. In. It'll give you something to yeah. do. Start as soon as he started in saying he was bored. I said, go inside, go sit on the couch. You sit sit on that couch till we come inside because I'm I'm done. <laughs> I'm done hearing this shit. I'm telling you, yeah, that's how Jackson. He was outside earlier playing, and he was he was they were out there playing with their Orby guns, and. uh he comes inside. He's like, hurt. he's like, he's like, I'm fed up with it. I'm done with it today. I'm like, what the fuck? You're seven. <laughs> no, he said he's not in the mood. Oh, today. he's not in the mood for it today. I'm like, dude, you're seven. What are you doing? Not, <laughs> not in the mood. And I'm like, and like he's out in like we're in the kitchen and the windows are open and he can hear the Orby guns. I was like, he's like, God, they're being really loud. Why are they so loud? I'm like, I think you need a nap, man. <laughs> like I think there's. <laughs> I think you might need to go to bed a little earlier tonight, dude. Like you obviously are a little cranky. So like, he's so annoyed with it. I'm like, dude, chill out, man. Calm, calm 
calm down. Like the- Theodore freaks out over loud noises though. Like he, it was, he's dude, got sensory. You, stuff it's always on. loud in my house. And guess who it's the cause of? Jackson. He's the loud one all the time. For real? When I, they were playing the quiet game the other night. You can't play the quiet game with Jackson. He loses every time. No, oh, so does Theodore. Every time. So does Theodore. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Within a second of being in it, we we kids, went into man. parenting mode. I don't sorry, hit guys. My kids, by the way, I we love them very dearly. I haven't whooped my kids' ass in years, man. I've come in close. Years. Well, last night I came once. close. Now all I do is raise my voice and they cry. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's just, I guess I have that intimidating uh, dad voice. That, it's it's the same way with me. I don't, well, with Gavin, I don't even have to yell. I just, like, talk to him. And he starts bawling. I'm like, dude, I'm not even angry. What are you crying for? Like, You're disciplining me. What are you like, dinner? Spilled, Why are you crying? He spilled a bowl of Orbeez all over the counter. I'm like, I walk in. I'm like, ah. And he's already bawling. I'm like, what are you crying for? He's like, ah, I don't know. I spilled the Orbeez. And I'm like chill the fuck out man just clean them up like what is your here's deal? a towel here's, yeah he had a towel he was cleaning them up i'm like he's like freaking out like shaking and stuff like oh my like i beat him you know what i mean like, like i'm gonna come out of the bathroom with a, like, uh, boy, what did i tell you like you pick up them orbeez now you know like he, i love how you turned into a southern man <laughs> like, like that's a prerequisite for kicking yeah, for kicking the shit cover. out of your kids. Yeah. <laughs> just, don't forget your wife know. beater with yeah. stains all yeah, over stains it too. All like, over. <laughs> and I got the scruffy beard, and I come out, and my hair's all freaking messy, and I got a shotgun. And I come out with my whip, and I'm like, boy, what did I tell you? This Pick is, up the motherfucking Orbeez, boy. You got to get the switch. Get the switch. Get the switch. <laughs> Go out back and pick a switch off the tree. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, There's a uh, willow tree right there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Whew, we well, all had days. very similar childhoods. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? We had a willow tree. Those fuckers yes. are no joke, man. No joke. Except for the time I brought my own switch to Grandma. You were oh, very they bad. Have, yeah, you don't, you don't bring your own switch. No, you I brought a log. Oh, no, pick he, this up, Granny. No, he was he was very bad one day, and he kept getting hit with the switch that my grandma had, and it broke. Oh, so she told him to go get another one. So he went, and he, and he was little. I mean, I'm talking like five, you know. And he went and got it, and he come back, and he had a log as big as him, like. <laughs> like he's just doing the, I don't even laugh as he just threw it at your ass <laughs> <laughs> he brings it back and he drops it my grandma it. had dead aim I'm not kidding <laughs> he drops it at her feet and she's like the hell is what this? is this and he goes if you're gonna hit me just knock me out <laughs> <laughs> And she she laughed. He never got hit, but he was dead serious. Like he wanted her to knock him out. I think Grandpa was laughing too. Yeah, Grandpa was laughing. If you're gonna hit him, just knock me <laughs> just, out. Just end it already. <laughs> I'm pretty, done. That's pretty much what. And she, I mean, she didn't hit him after that, but it was pretty funny. <laughs> My grandma never hit anybody, man. Anyway, we're getting off topic. We are, yeah, we sorry, we're off topic. Guys. We really just need yeah. to do an episode. So we need that. to do an episode just where we bullshit. We yeah. can do that more anyway. Yeah. yeah. I think we just need to spend more time bullshitting. And, and <laughs> Here's get it out of our like systems. <laughs> this is a bullshit episode. Yeah. Well, we, we are talking about Sin City. Like, uh, like playlist of videos. It's just called bullshitting. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do that. We'll do that behind for the our, scenes. Uh, Here's some bullshit for you. Yeah, just yeah. bullshitting. We'll do that for uh, the oh. Patreon. Yeah, the Patreon. No, because we need more content on the YouTube too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think we need to do more than just movie reviews. Because how are people supposed to find us and like the Patreon if they don't know how we actually? Will I think be? I've, I've also been. We need a week weekend where we just come over here for like. Friday or something, drink and just bullshit. Just drink and bullshit. I, I've been talking about thinking, I've had it in my head here that I want to do some trivia stuff. Yeah. Like what, trivia games. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. up. If We're you guys drink, can you get me sparkling grape juice? Because that stuff's good. I have the perfect glasses for you as well. Yeah. Oh, damn. Are they purple grape glasses? No, they look like wine glasses, but they won't break. They won't break. I love oh, it. I, I, will I got test this. I got them, and they they uh, <laughs> they look like they literally look like wine gla- like wine goblets or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I walked in, I was like, Jeremiah, check these out. And I went like that, and he was like, ah. <laughs> 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 but, but like I went like that, and they didn't, you know, like they just like clang together. And he's like, let me see. <laughs> like, yeah, they, they won't break. That's weird. 
Oh, me and Joseph, we're going to test this out. Yeah. Go right ahead. How, how hard could he throw it at each other? <laughs> hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, 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 hey. I love it. I hit one of you and you like fell down. Ah, oh, bleeding. <laughs> Start twitching. <laughs> yep. uh, okay, anyway, anyway, your your review. Yes. That's oh, where we are. Nice. Oh. So what's your review? Um, Ooh, my white. review is it's it has to be the white sparkling grape juice, not the red, because the red is gross. I'm all over it. I got you. <laughs> um, I got you, fam. Okay, my real review. That's not about the grape juice. <laughs> Because I don't like normal rate grape juice. It's gross. <laughs> He's going off about the grape juice. Let's get to the review. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It was an okay movie. Meh. You know. Meh. Meh. Mm. It's, meh. A meh. Yeah. it's a meh. It's a meh from her. It's meh. I'm sure if I watched it whenever it came out, I I was a kid, so I probably wouldn't have yeah. liked it yeah. You can rate it however you feel yeah. about it. You don't have to. Yeah. Go with your gut. Yeah. I'm not good at explaining my emotions, though. Typical so woman. like, yeah. <laughs> I can express them. Do you want me to express them? <laughs> Fuck you, Dad. I want you to do it through interpretive dance. <laughs> interpretive dance. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, yeah, I'll give it a six. 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 That's actually higher than I thought you were gonna give it. Yeah, me too. Uh, well, it's an old movie, kind of. <laughs> so. Fuck, we're old. I was say, she keeps saying old, and I it's keep like going. Old movie. It was like five it's years really ago, old, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know. Almost 20 years ago. Now, oh, fucking mouth. It's been almost 20 years. Man. Shut your fucking what is mouth. What is it about? 20, 2005? Shut your fucking mouth. What? Yeah, in your fucking mind. Hold on. Uh, 2000, no, April 1st. That's what, that's what started me off. April Fool's. Oh, yeah. this movie is so a joke. <laughs> this is 2005, I believe. It's yeah. Six. Where the fuck did I just see that? So about 15 Dude. years ago. Dude, I'm trying here. Okay. I fail. Here. Hold April, on. April 1st, 2005. So 2005. Yeah. All right. Did you fucking write your shit? April I wrote it down. I figured like you would. Like a fucking so professional. So it was 18 years ago. I used my phone. Fuck all. Years ago, yeah. It's an oldie. It's an oldie, but a goodie. All right. Hey, what's your review, Eric? Hey. Yeah, Eric, what's your review? You know what? I actually gave this a six, and then you guys gave it all a six. I'm like, I got to give it lower because no, I'm the one don't. that hates it. <laughs> no, you, no, you don't. don't. I gave it a six. I thought six Karen gave a, it a seven. She gave it a seven. Yeah. I gave it, actually, it was a 6.5, but then I was just started knocking it down. More <laughs> you guys made it worse for me. <laughs> yeah. We made it better last week. Yeah, we made it worse. We made it better. I was make it worse. So, I mean, all honestly, I'm going to give it a five and a half. For me, I was still interested, but I, I don't. It's, kind I'm, of it's not my kind of movie. Bit, yeah. So yeah. my pros on it, I liked how it had the colors with the black and white. I liked how they they made the colors pop. Ooh, pretty colors. Uh, the Ooh. dialogue, I like the dialogue, but not the monologuing. Makes makes sense. There's just so much monologue going on. I wish right, there was the a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Cine- cinematography was pretty good. I liked how they. Yeah, yeah. I, I will get behind that. I agree. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Cons, it's just not my style. Not my style of a movie. I'm not big into noir. Um, if I was to rate the movie as of what it is, I would rate it more like an eight out of ten for what the movie is. For their style, I you know I'd rate it higher, but oh, for myself, I yeah. cannot give it. No, and that's how you're supposed to rate it. It's for yeah. you. For me, it was exactly. a five. Yeah. five this, for me, it's a five. Ain't like, oh well, I think everybody else is gonna love this. So well, it's not. Eight. It's no, not. It's like, no, this movie. I don't like this movie. It's it's, it's easily a six. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's definitely a five and a half. It's just. It's for, all about uh, what, you, what you think. Yeah. What you think? Yeah. 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 <clears throat> style for the style of the movie, you know. But yeah, that's my review. Is five and a half. My review. My review. 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 So. We Let's need. get into Rotten Tomatoes. Which is also... Rotten Tomatoes. I understand that, Karen. <laughs> do you have it pulled up? No. Yeah, I do. As a matter of fact, it's right fucking here. I'm waiting on your damn answer. You go <laughs> right at the fuck ahead, piece of shit. Damn. Oh, damn. You see, I'm, I'm Wait good. for the critic. Here. Piece for the shit. critics. For the critics. I'm going... I'm, I'm going... Nice. Shut up, Dad. 60. What? Oh, I was gonna that go is, 60 fi- to go sixty-five. To 60. That's I what I was. Go I know sixty-five. <laughs> I don't want to go sixty. She, she just sixty sixty-five. Now you gotta either go higher or 66. lower. Sixty-six. Oh, he one dollar you. He gets it. 
Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Seventy six. Oh wow, it's really? Oh, wow. Okay, wow. that's so, a lot higher I, than I thought. I it would really be. thought critics yeah. consensus. Yeah, consensus. Consensus. I can't say that <laughs> no, word. No, wait. We got to do the audience first. Well, I think. Yeah, five, whatever. Yeah, we always do the bar. audience. Audience, I'm gonna go. Let him do 82. it however he wants to do it. I thought that was the point of different hosts. I'm gonna make you eat that mic. <laughs> There's like no pause in that. He's like straight. You're gonna eat that fucking mic. <laughs> you ever watch Let him do it however he wants to. Huh? You ever watch F is for Family? He always tells. Yeah. He always tells. Yeah. Kid, I'm gonna put you through that fucking wall. I'll watch anything with Bill Burr involved. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. put you through that fucking wall. <laughs> Audience, now go. 82. Uh, I think it's gonna be higher. I'm gonna go. Fuck, you said 82. I'm gonna go eighty. Son of a bitch. We're gonna go seventy five. Seventy five. You Madison suck. takes it seventy eight percent. Wow. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You said, said you said, said eighty. 80. Oh, oh yeah, he's closer. Yeah, I'd be yeah. closer. Joseph mm-hmm. got it. Oh wait. That'd be right. Be three, right three, three points to your two. Eight to ten. <laughs> eight to eighty. It's two. Yeah, eight you're to right. five. Oh yeah, 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 three. Right. yeah. So Joseph wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you gave him the answers. Give me the answer. <laughs> Critics, whatever. Consensus. 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 Visually groundbreaking and ter- terrible. Well, I'm a hooker. It's the critics consex me. Consex us. Oh, shit. Consex us. Uh, visually groundbreaking and ter- terrific. What's that? Did? Terrific? Terrifically Ter- violent. Yeah, terrific? terrifically. I was, just, I was sitting here thinking terrify. Terrifically. Terrifyingly. Yeah, terrify, terrifically. <laughs> terrifically. <laughs> we just make up words. Yeah, visually groundbreaking and terrifically violent. Sin City brings the dark world of Frank Miller's graphic novel to vivid life. Okay. 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 So let's go into audience ratings. I hope there's some good ones. Um, <laughs> you have to make it fast. We're getting pretty late into this. I know. I'm trying. I'm trying. Well, we went well, I was gonna say we didn't talk about holy shit. I'm not ready. Ri- I'm not reading all this. There's literally juice. like a whole page of a one star. Oh, don't read that one. Holy shit! Like I'm not even kidding. Like look at this. No, we don't need that. Dude. Oh no, we don't need that noise. Oh my god, oh, my god dude! Somebody wrote a book about this movie. Oh shit! Fuck yeah, they did. And they actually, I mean, they punch punctuations and everything. <laughs> Let me tell you what about they went Sin City. Hard into it. <laughs> All right. just well, you know that's that's somebody that really gives a shit. That's, he, he normally we should Stephen probably King novel, dude. Normally we should probably pay attention to that, but we don't have time we for your shit today. Shit. We don't I got, have I got a five star. Smart. Got a five star. Oh. A perfect rating. All right, I'm kind of interested to hear. Per- mm-hmm. Perfect. Rating. Amazing. It sucked my dick. Sonic. I love the moon <laughs> and moon butt. What is it? Sonic, I love the moon and moon butt. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? Let me see this. And and butt is B U T. Yeah, it's not butt as your ass, just butt. Like oh, they they yeah, meant yeah. to type more, but <laughs> but I'm gonna leave you hanging. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's right. It's yeah. a five star. It's five star. <laughs> hey, he. He Hercules finds the best swan. He was in it to win it. He was like, listen, guys. And that's it. Sonic, I love Moon. Let me tell you why I love this movie. Hold that song. But it wasn't even the right movie. He said, Sonic, I love the moon butt. Yeah, that, that's literally it. What about the moon, though? And Sonic. I, and Sonic. And Sonic, yeah. He went fucking complete left field to the fucking <laughs> moon. Maybe he was taking the shrooms. I think he was oh, drunk. Yeah. yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah, he probably took the shrooms for he took it. Took the shrooms for us. Yeah. There's a two star. Meh. Pretty dull to be honest. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. It's honest. He's honest. That's not honest. That's holy shit. What's up with these why, long dude. ass paragraphs? There's a five star. It's a fucking page long God too. Damn. Some people got some shit. Jesus. To say. Those are your artsy fartsy people. Oh That's my god. Well, let me tell you my opinion. I don't care. Let me go grab a beer first. I am kind of interested. I might go back and read the one star on my own time. Uh, <laughs> that really long it. one. Yeah. Yeah, because that's not finding any smaller ones. Yeah, fuck it. Let's skip it. Yeah, so that's... <laughs> <laughs> let's be done. Let's be I, done. Let's, that's that. Karen, what's the trivia you got for us? Okay. Sweet-ass trivia with Karen. You have a, Is there a lot? 
Uh, no, no, it's not really? hateful. Surprisingly, <laughs> I know. I thought I the same. there would be a lot for this movie. Yeah, there really wasn't actually. <clears throat> Guest director Quentin Tarantino directed the scene involving Dwight and Jackie Boy in the front of the car before Dwight is pulled Dwight. over by a police officer. I, I see now. I could see that because of the dialogue and the in. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah, because of the way the movie was shot, make you I work. Love Quentin Tarantino. I know you do. I love him. I I don't like him. Personally. I I'm like not a, a fan of a, him. Yeah, I was gonna say he's kind of a condescending prick, but yeah. But I love his movies. I, hold, I, I fucking love his movies. Will man. you hold his hand and skip to the loom? I would, dude. I would pull, <laughs> if he would let me, he'd probably be like, get the fuck off me. Yeah. That's how he would sound to get the fuck Don't off look me. at me. <clears throat> Don't even breathe on me. <laughs> Who are you? No, no, no. He said so. He sounds like, he sounds like get, get the fuck off me. That's, he sounds like a fucking nerd. So. <clears throat> he does. <laughs> because of the way the movie was shot, Mickey Rourke and Elijah Wood never met until after the movie was released. Okay. Yeah. I mean, he, what yeah they never, they never met. met because of the way that it's shot that's so weird because they like are literally in and fighting together, each other he, sh- he chopped the dude up yeah i mean I remember, it's weird you know that's why i put it in there because i was like how? how yeah how they had lots of scenes together that's so weird that's what i guess you do. don't you can be in scenes together but you don't have to be in the room together well, yeah that's what happens with fucking green screen yeah and, green screen but that is CGI kind of a neat way to make scenes. a movie because I mean that's neat. What if you, you get into a? Yeah, I mean it works if like you got two <clears throat> actors that can't stand each other, or yeah. you know there there's a uh, timeline con- conflicts and stuff like that. You run yeah, into that all the right, time. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So you could still have a movie made with the people you want. Yeah. You know. Anyway, according to Robert Rod- Rodriguez's commentary, the torture sequence between Yellow Bastard and Nancy was originally shot faithful to the comic book, considerably longer and more graphic than what appears in the final cut or the extended edition. Rodriguez stated <laughs> that the torture segment was crossing the bounds of bad taste, even for Sin City. Let's hold on now, because it just put me back on how I oh, said God. how I said I'd come in and I talk to my kids like. <laughs> oh God! He comes in, he's like, "You're gonna strain for me, you fat cow, you fat cow." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he did kind of like he was wearing those boxers. And he, and that yeah, pop yeah, belly, that like, pop belly, <laughs> just like that dad bod. You know what I mean? <laughs> but not a sexy dad bod. No, not at, at all. all. It was terrible. No, it was it, like no. you're gonna stream, you fat cow. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's no. so weird. No, he, I can't believe Nick Stahl was comfortable with doing that. I know <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'm like, you fat cow. <laughs> he was so into it too. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, I guess that's acting for you. Maybe either that or like he's really into it. Yeah, I was like either that or is that just him? You know what I mean? Like if he's. Into well, I mean, you shit. got Jess Galba tied up. You get the whipper. Mm-hmm. Maybe he's into it. Yeah. He's really into that Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah. <laughs> Robert Rodriguez scored Kill Bill two for one dollar. Quentin Tarantino said he would repay him by directing a segment of this movie for one dollar. That's funny. I love yeah. their friendship. <laughs> yeah. The signature white bl- white blood proved hard to achieve on screen. Regular movie blood couldn't provide the stark look. The crew had to use fl- fluorescent red liquid and bathe it in black light. In post-production, the liquid was turned white. <clears throat> Leonardo DiCaprio was originally up for the role of Rourke Jr., but eventually declined the role, which went to Nick Stahl. I can't imagine the interview. Yeah, camera. yeah. Nope. I can see why he's he too... probably. I bet he declined it. Like, nah, like once he I found out what the the character. Yeah, was, he, he was knew like, like Kitty that. Diddler. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Yeah, right. Like he's probably like, nah, I don't. He's think a little I too do high that. and mighty for that. He ain't. Yeah. He, he ain't doing that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't want to. I don't want to be labeled as that guy. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I don't want to be like known for doing like the Rourke Junior. You know? Yeah. Right. Like you know, fucking creepy yellow dude. Right. Robert Rodriguez originally envisioned Johnny Depp in the role of Jackie Boy. Due to prior commitments, Depp could not play the part. While at the Academy Awards, Rodriguez saw Benicio Del Toro with long hair. Coincidentally, Del Toro played the the title character of the Wolfman and said that he was looking at Jackie Boy. He told Del Toro not to cut his hair and mailed him the comic book and a copy of the short, The Customer is Always Right. Del Toro immediately signed on. The shape of Elijah Wood's chin was changed subtly, subtly, in post-production to give him more unsettling appearance i i didn't notice it it until like i went back and i looked at pictures after i read that i'm like oh yeah i saw it i saw it in that one scene where like it showed his face straight forward and you could see him like that evil smile yeah you can see it it's like you can see his jawline and shit yeah it's it's way more sharp yeah it's sharper and a little more thin it's weird you ever seen uh, his version of maniac where he plays maniac uh no but i know what you're talking about you should watch it it's very good yeah if you've seen you've seen him in this as Kevin, yeah, like 
he oh it's really good robert i like like elijah wood though yeah oh yeah robert rodriguez i think he's a very underrated actor for sure who credits frank miller's visual style in the comic as being as relevant as his own in this movie insisted that miller receive a co-director credit with him the Directors Guild of America would not allow it. As a result, Rodriguez resigned from the DGA, saying it was easier for me to quietly resign before shooting because otherwise I'd be forced to make compromises that I was unwilling to make or set a precedent that might hurt the Guild later on. Unfortunately, by resigning from the DGA, Rodriguez was also forced to relinquish his dra- director's seat on John Carter. <clears throat> After the book on which it was based, for Paramount Pictures... Rodriguez had already signed on and had been announced as director of that movie when the DGA situation took place and had been planning to begin shooting soon after wrapping this movie. Didn't that movie bomb? I think it did. I don't remember that movie being very good. Probably because Rodriguez had to drop out. (laughs) There you go. Originally, Robert... See, he could be like, see, I could have saved that movie. He probably could have. But you guys' stupid rules suck. (laughs) (laughs) Originally, Robert Rodriguez didn't plan for Benicio Del Toro to wear makeup, but Del Toro insisted on it. Tarantino later commented the makeup being so good that people actually forgot that's what Benicio looks like. I mean, yeah. You can't almost... You can almost not tell it's him. Yeah, really, you can't. Except for in the eyes, you can a little bit. But, dude, he just did such a good job. Oh, yeah. He might be... He was definitely the best one, best actor. Best bad guy. The best bad guy for sure, yeah. but like he was the best actor, I think, in the movie. I don't think, I don't, I can't name, I can't think of anybody who topped him. He was so good in what little he had. I would say, well, I would say that that sequence had the best acting because, okay, Bruce because it Willis was always. by Quentin Tarantino. Well, no, that only that segment. Oh. In, this, in the car. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. But, yeah. <laughs> well,. Well, what I'm saying is, is you know, because like Hardigan, you could make the comment that you know Bruce Willis is a great actor. He did he, a great job, yeah. But it's the same character he always plays. Willis, mm-hmm. yeah, pretty much, yeah. A sad, down on his luck cop. Yeah. Like Die Hard. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, he always plays that guy. So, not hard for him to yeah. bring his. He's egg got in. a very sympathizing voice. Yeah, too, so and I'm not. I'm not trying to downplay do. his acting right, or what yeah. he does. I'm just saying that. When you talk about who really blew you away, it's that whole first sequence with the acting in that. Right. That's what I'm getting at. I agree with you. Uh, Counting only blows to the head or face, Marv is struck 21 times throughout the course of this movie. That's it. (laughs) Only blows to his face? Yeah, only if you only count blows to the head or the face. Marv is struck 21 times throughout the course of the movie. Not to mention all the bullets and everything else. Correct. We're only counting blows to the head or the face. 21 times. Hmm. All right. Well, let's get into next week. Madison, you're choosing. <laughs> it's your pick. As I should. Sly. Okay. I got this. <laughs> Watch your pick like a uh, fucking avatar oh, or something. something. Bad, dude. Uh-huh. If I pick avatar, I'm throwing myself off the building. <laughs> I'll bring you grape juice. It's avatar. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's Edward Scissorhands, you guys. No, seriously. It is. <laughs> Edward, Edward. That's hilarious because I just I just downloaded the sing- the soundtrack. Eduardo. Edward. It's Eduardo. Edward Cesar. I've seen that movie. Edward uh, Cesar. Uh, well, I have two, uh, but I'm I'm Cesar. down to watch it again because I fucking love that movie. Skizzer. It's right. Edward it's Skizzer right. Hans. Shut your <laughs> it's Edward. Skizzer Eduardo. Hans. Edward Ed- Skizzer Hans. Eduardo. Edward. So Skizzer next week is Edward Hans. Scissor Hands. That's cool. It's been a while since I've seen that one. Yeah. Hans. I love it. It's probably Dude. my... I remember loving it anyway. What if I hate it this time? Oh, no. I think I think it might be my second or third favorite Tim Burton movie. What's your first? My first? Definitely Beetlejuice. Ooh. Yeah. yeah that's Definitely good. Beetlejuice. That's good. That's a good one. Yeah. Ooh. So, I it is... I don't know if I have a ranking. Honestly, I don't think I've ever thought I about think it. I think I'd have to go back through and remember all of his movies... I mean, Edward Scissorhands is up there, but, like, be- you just can't top Beetlejuice, man. Yeah, you might be onto something there. Yeah. Mm, I, 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 uh, I'd have to think about it. It's streaming on HBO Max, Hulu, Amazon. You're using Google, you're wrong. Oh, for sure, you're wrong. Dude, you gotta get, you gotta get watch now, man. Just watch. Just, that's that's all just you need. Watch. That's what I said. That's the only three that's popped up saying that's, <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> streaming. Ed it could Word. be streaming in a different um Skizzer hands. Skizzer. It's HBO Max and Roku. Oh, well, uh, yeah, HBO it. Max. That's all you got. And Roku. 
Okay. Roku's free. But you have ads. Yeah, you have ads. Okay. I'll watch it on HBO Max. Or wait, do I own it? I think I own it. I know We I have own HBO it. Max. Yeah, no, I think I own the movie, though. And I'm oh. sure they didn't take anything out of this movie. There's nothing. Oh, else. yeah, definitely not. Yeah, right. Right. Well, maybe I don't wait. know. They get so maybe offended wait. about everything. There's probably that burning cross they took that out, I'm sure. Yeah. On Bush. I want to see them burn it 30 times. <laughs> I'm sure they took that <laughs> Sacrifice out. Sacrifice your children. They don't want that in there anymore. <laughs> he cut her hand. They took it out. Oh, yeah, yeah. They can't have that oh, blood yeah. in there. <laughs> no, no. Self-harm. Oh, no fake snow. Because, no you know, that's probably. No titty showing. Yeah. Well, Sorry. Was there any titties? titties? There's no titties. Yeah, there's no titties. Yeah, there's yeah, there's yeah, titties. yeah because he sees that naked chick. I remember that part. Yeah, Ada, Ada forced me to watch that part again. Say, I know, uh, but Carter still. Was a thought kid we were in that. making fun yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah he's the, the like kid, kid on the sl- slip and slide. Oh. Mm-hmm. Anyways. Nick Carter? <laughs> yeah. Anyways. He's uh, dead now, though. No, that was Nick Carter? Aaron Carter. Oh, that's Aaron Carter. Yeah. I wow, get you said that like with such happiness. <laughs> to be like, he's dead now. Yeah, he's dead now. No, I'm not happy. I just don't care. Oh, damn. <laughs> don't call me heartless. I just don't know the dude. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I have no affinity for him. Like, ew. yeah, his music's so good. No, it wasn't. I hated his music. Aaron? Both. I didn't know Aaron. Both of them. I, I remember Aaron's crying music. whenever I was little, whenever I found out Marilyn Monroe was dead. <laughs> that is sad, though. I know. It is sad. Because I was like, how, I asked dad how, how she died, and he told me nobody knew. Well. Officially, it was, officially. It was a, Dr- a drug an overdose. OD, yeah. Drug and alcohol overdose. But, but they say that the Kennedys had something to do with of it. Of course which, they did. It was possible. But that's just. Oh, man. We we do this trivia thing where we're drinking. I can't imagine the conspiracy theories are going to come oh, out. Oh, Jesus. Mouth. Oh, God. Let's get them going. <laughs> <laughs> we do need to plan something like that where we're where it's just like a trivia night or something like that. But you, you guys should get you guys spit face to drunk us and I should just stupid. be here. And it doesn't have to be just us. It could be we could bring a few more people in on it or something. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, we get yeah. Crystal in on it or something. We could all have a drink and yeah, just have set a people bit of fun. wherever they can fit. Yeah. Yeah. Sit there on the fucking floor. You, you share that. my hey, mic. Hey, you can do the drinking games whenever I'm not here. Uh, or whatever. Yeah. Doesn't have to be a drinking game. I thought it was a drinking game. I thought that's no, what just you trivia. Were about. Yeah. yeah, it's just trivia. But we probably have a few drinks. Because <laughs> <laughs> why not? Yeah. We'll bring Jeremy. We're grown ass motherfucking people. <laughs> yeah. The sad part is like if we did an actual like movie trivia game, it would be me, you, and Jeremiah destroying everybody. Yes, it's true. <laughs> it's true. There was a there was Fuck you we guys. played um <laughs> we played a movie trivia game in uh, North Carolina when me and Sam were married and. uh we were doing teams and um, me and Sam were going to be on a team and everybody's like, no, 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 you guys are married. You got like a secret language. You're, you can't be on a team together and blah, blah, blah. Okay. So then they stuck me on this team with this guy named Andy. Unbeknownst to them, me and Andy knew the most out of movies out of anybody, like even more than Sam did. Right. And we mopped the floor with everybody. <laughs> and they were like, that was a mistake. We we're like, we could have told you that. Yeah, you got to, you got to spread, you, you got to spread the experience, man. Yeah. They just were like, you like, gotta, like you gotta play with Andy. Like, if we did three like, teams, it couldn't be me, you, or you <laughs> and Jeremiah. Yeah, like, you, know, it would you have gotta to be, spread it out yeah, a little. It would have to be, like, me and Madison, or, like, and then Jeremiah and Eric, That's, and you yeah, and uh, Crystal. Say, or I'm not good like, with It couldn't be, like, you know, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, me and, me and Joseph are gonna be on a team. If, if <laughs> it involves Nobody Disney. Disney. Yeah. Hey, Except us. If yeah. it involves Disney movies, I want my wife with me. Hey, hey, if it involves Disney movies, then I'm good. Know a lot know. About oh, I'll I'll get my ass kicked in Disney movies. Yeah, I'll... Disney movies, you got me on that one. Yeah. So I don't I don't know much about them. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. Anyways, let's get into the outro here, guys. Uh, remember to find us on TikTok, Tumblr, Twitter, uh, Instagram, Facebook, and of course YouTube. We are also still on Spotify, so please like Spotify. and share. Apple Music or Apple's Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, and Amazon Music. Yes. Yeah. We Be have sure an to like. Too. Oh yeah, yeah, we have an Instagram now. Uh, yeah, she, I, he I said that. that. He said oh, that. Okay. Yes. I gotta start. See, we're getting too much stuff now. I keep forgetting to like. I didn't add all this. So we're like, I did this thing, and then we're like, oh, well, now we've got Instagram, and now we've got Tumblr, and then it's like, fuck, I didn't. I gotta redo. What the is Tumblr? Thing. It's just like YouTube. Yeah. Tumblr. YouTube. Oh. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. And remember to also have. Remember we also. Huh? If you're just going to. Yeah, remember, yeah, remember we also. Yeah, remember we also have an email if you'd like to contact, contact us <coughs> that way. 
the bonsai movie crew at gmail.com which is also basic <laughs> we love to hear from you guys let us know how we're doing keep us yeah. you know shoot us an email good, comment on the good videos. or bad if, if you yeah. feel like we're doing yeah. something wrong let and us leave know. us a like too like because like if you whenever you like and share and all that and comment that actually gets our videos and our content out to more people. Yeah. And we would like more to people see... that you can relate to. Yeah. So, and if you're watching this, then obviously, especially this far into the yeah. video. Yeah. <laughs> this is then... probably one of the longest ones we've done in a while. Oh, we, have, we have a couple two and a half hour ones. Yeah, I'm just saying it's the long longest one we've done in a while. But this yeah. is, this is probably like, if you guys don't like comment and things like that, it doesn't get, it doesn't spread as much. Like, so if you comment or like and all that stuff, if you do those things, it gives us a bump. It gives us a bump. It, it pushes our videos more. Like YouTube, it's like oh, people the algorithm, like them. Maybe like more it pushes will. our content more, and that's something that we definitely need because some days, some weeks, man, we get we get a little like down on it. Like man, we, I don't think we're gonna do. We're not doing that great. Like it's just yeah. Sometimes it's kind of stale. It just depends on the still. movie. I think a lot of it has to do with the movie, and then like. I don't know. Madison made a TikTok for us and had like 800 views in a day. And I'm like, how the fuck? She's like, Dad, it's all about the tags. I'm like, I don't know what. Whatever. <laughs> like, that's why we need younger people to do our social media. Yeah, stuff. I'm, like, I'm like adding all the tags I can think of, and there's probably like 30 other tags I could use. I'm like, I don't use any of them because I'm like, well, I'm, I don't want to lie to you. I'm not gonna add a bunch of shit to my video, like tags for my video that doesn't actually pertain to my video. So. Right. You know, it's just weird. It's just like I have Facebook. That's literally the only thing I have, and I still don't know how to use that thing fully. Like, I know how to comment. There's a lot of crap you can do with social media nowadays to push content and things like that. And I'm, I'm fucking, I'm like, I tried, I tried getting on Reddit and kind of pushing us on Reddit a little bit, but that thing's a pain in the ass. Yeah, Reddit's a whole other ball game. See, I don't know that much about Reddit, but yeah, you have to get like karma credit just to get. Uh, put a, put a comment on things. Oh, you have I to thought you just up. asked just... questions and that's what I thought. Right, looked oh, at man. comments. Apparently, there's a lot more to it. Yeah. Than that. So, anyways, be sure to <clears throat> join us next week as we discuss Edward Scissorhands, and Madison will be hosting next week. That's I a will. good one for you to host. I, yeah. I will. It's a very good one for yeah. you to host. Is it? Yeah, for sure. This yeah. is definitely <laughs> the, in your ballpark. You know what I mean? Like your sort of. Uh, You've seen Edward Scissorhands, right? Not in a long time. I think it's definitely a movie that, like, a girl at her age... Gothic-y would... Christmas yeah, kind of... Like, especially with, like, her. She's, like, into that. Did shit. you put Die Hard in there? I'm pretty sure Die Hard is in there. Don't okay. you have the master list? Where's the master list? I was going to say because Christmas... Yeah, yeah, we also yeah, need to add some Mel Brooks movies in there. I got the other list in here. I just haven't wrote them down to tear them up and put them in there. I need to okay. make it a full list. Like, I've got, like, two sheets of paper, and it's all, like... Spaceballs definitely needs yeah. to be in there. Anyway. You're going to make them think I'm emo. No, it's not about e- not emo. The, the, I swear. No. 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 I swear. No. no. I no. promise. No, emo's not Tim Burton. No. No, I know, He's, but... Well, it like, is... People it is, though. Not, it is, though. Fuck up. It is, though. No, it's It not. is totally Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. I hate that movie. Come no, on. people turned it into that. Yeah, well, yeah. that's what it is. And yeah. that's why I hate that movie. No, it's because people turned it into it that. Everywhere. I've yeah, never yeah, liked yeah. that movie. Into I don't even know how it ends. I fall asleep every time. Anyway. So, I'm Eric. I was your host this week. Bye, I'm Karen. <laughs> Hello, I'm Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> We're leaving. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> uh, Hello next week. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Bye, I'm Madison. Come bye. On, get out of here. Bye. Okay, bye.